I'm not sure you can. Hold on a second. Here we go. Boom. Hello. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome on in. You can all you can all hear me good, right? You can all hear me good. I hope so. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I'm still getting used to um the share feature, like the schedule event thingy that I've been using. Seems to be working well. I hope it's working on um on your end. How's everybody doing today? It's so nice to see you all. What is going on? Okay, you can all hear me. Look at that. We are in the skeleton uh, spider spawner, right? Or skeleton spider spawner. The skeleton XP farm right now. I'm just gathering a little bit of XP to uh, fix up some of my tools right now. Because we are going to be doing a ton of base maintenance today. Tons and tons of base maintenance today. How is everybody doing? It is so, so nice to be back. So nice to see everybody. I am loving these weekly streams on YouTube. It has been such a fun time. Such a fun time. Let me just make sure all of my stuff is good to go. It looks like we are all good on every end. All of my stuff is good. My the stream health is great. So we're good to go. We are good to just vibe today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, everybody. Here's the plan for today. <laughs> just vibes. We are just going to be vibing today. We're gonna be doing some base maintenance around the chill survival world. Um, the last time we were here, uh, we were working on some of the farmland together. And it, if you all haven't checked out that episode yet, it is on my YouTube channel. Uh, the farmland is all complete. Some of you were part of the transformation, which was really, really cool to see. And I think today we're just gonna start working on some pathing around other parts of our base, probably connecting the farmland because it's looking a little bit sad right now. You know, it's looking a little bit sad. We have a lot of stuff to fix around here. But hey, that's just going to make it's just going to make everything look so much better. You know, so, so much better. Mondays are the best now because we have Drift Live. Let's go. Heck yeah. So happy these streams brighten your day because it brightens my day. It's been a while since I could join for a live. How is your day so far? My day is going very well. Uh, we slept in this morning because we... It is a long weekend here. We had Canadian Thanksgiving this weekend. So I got to see my family yesterday. Uh, we hung out. We had a really good dinner uh, at my aunt's house. It was so, so fun and relaxing. And then we came home and watched scary movies because it's October now and we have started our scary movie marathon. And it's been such a fun time. Such a fun time. How has everybody's weekend been? Well, it's Monday now, so if, you, if you're not observing the Thanksgiving holiday, how, how's everybody, uh, how's your start of the week going? I'm not actually here, I'm in full vacation mode, just had to stop in and say hello and hope the stream is chaotic. Shroud, welcome on in, I hope your vacation is going well, can't wait to hear all about it. Katie, also welcome on in, can't believe how fast the weekend went, I know, it was a long weekend, you know what? It was a long weekend here, but like... This is the first time in a while that me and Big Tiny Duck have felt like so rested. We ended up making like, so her brother stayed a couple nights ago. I think it was Friday and we blew up an air mattress in our living room and we were like, okay, here you go. Here's the air mattress. Once he left, we never took it away because we were like, what if we just have like a sleepover in our living room? Like, would that be, would that be cool? Would that be a vibe? So we tried it. I'm not even kidding. We both had the best sleep that we've had in a while. I was like, this is so comforting. We had like the mattress was like close to the TV. So it felt like you were in like a little cozy theater or something. It was very, very nice. So we did that. It was wonderful. We uh, slept down there again last night, probably tonight. Going to use our regular bed. Sad. But you know what? It's one of those things where if you do it every night, it's not as fun, you know? It's gotta be like a nice little treat. Yes, don't forget to like the stream, everybody, if you haven't yet. It really, really, really does help, help uh, the reach on YouTube, for sure. You have such a great reputation. Wait, what did I say about you? What did I say about you? Is Big Tiny Duck nearby to do some bullying? She is indeed, she is indeed. <laughs> I'm scared, don't summon her. Chat, don't summon her, I'm scared. <laughs> Canada rocks let's go yeah it's uh it, you know what having Thanksgiving was really really nice it was my aunt lives a little bit further away it was like a two-hour drive to get to her house but hey it was really nice to see my family 
we all had a wonderful time and you know what i'm so happy we did that plus we got some really good thanksgiving leftovers for tonight and i am just so so excited for that it's gonna be a very nice dinner tonight you know what's better than leftovers honestly so what's a traditional thanksgiving meal for you oh i love that question sorry if i i've missed a couple of things hold on let me let me uh like get back into the chat see what you're all saying also welcome on in lauren and azzy it's so nice to see you Zo zombie and uh chris lunar welcome on in how are you all doing just sat down with dinner ready to vibe let's go let's go you're working on embroidery while listening heck yeah love that love the chill vibes need a starting soon screen so i don't think i've missed several minutes notifications lag for me i know i was thinking about that see the thing is the starting there's positives and benefits to having starting soon screens on streams and like one of the negatives is on youtube the vod it kind of affects like the vod afterwards so i've been trying without one but it, it's kind of like throwing me off too i might go back to using them i was kind of thinking the same thing like i like having for all of us to have time to kind of like pile on into the stream but then when you like think about the VOD, it like just creates like a lot of dead space at the beginning too. So it's it's something I've been testing out, but I'm not sure I'm gonna keep it, you know? Let me know what you all uh, think about having the stream just start like right away with like the schedule. You're also Canadian, let's go, let's go. Big time, yeah, big tiny ducks here nearby to do some bullying. I am literally just catching up on chat. I am so sorry, so sorry, but here, this is, this is, a Canadian well it's not a Canadian Thanksgiving everybody has their own variation of a Thanksgiving meal mine includes a lot of uh Slovenian food because my that's where my family is from so there's lots of pierogies we got like you know like oh man we used to have beets a lot my grandma doesn't really make those anymore this like rice that's delicious she cooks it with like lard and like a bunch of other stuff it is just like fantastic it's so good my grandma is an amazing cook and a lot of my aunts and uh relatives have like learned her recipes which is like amazing um sometimes there's like a lasagna hasn't been there in a while but we do get lasagna sometimes what else do we get we also get um hmm turkey of course you can't forget the turkey uh strudel cheese strudel what else do we get there's usually like a really like vinegary salad so good so just like oil and vinegar salt and pepper can't go wrong with that it's the palate cleanser pretty much i would say that big tiny duck says that our plates on thanksgiving dinner at my family's thanksgiving it is all beige and just like mush like literally it's just all beige foods it, but not in a bad way like it is delicious but if she if she describes my thanks my family's thanksgiving dinner she says beige that's it and you know what like she's so right about that so right it's just just beige you know what'd you eat for dinner beige that's it you know that's the vibe actually let me fix this up a little bit this is a little bit wonky a little bit wonky rooks welcome on in how you doing so nice to see you so so nice to see you you call your uh the match you call it mattress island johnny i love that isn't it fun though living room sleepover need a fort and that's the best weekend ever exactly exactly so nice <laughs> waiting for the monday stream let's go so happy you all are here today are you decorating in minecraft for halloween so we have actually you know what we have uh i guess i forgot to make the announcement on youtube oh my gosh i forgot to do that chat so on Friday, me and Frog Crafting are teaming up. We are gonna be doing a uh, stream together, a very, very special Halloween stream where we are gonna be in a Halloween world. It's modded, so there's a lot of cool mods and we are gonna be raising money for gamers outreach. So I think I'm gonna be doing uh, the stream on YouTube here. It's gonna be an earlier one. It's gonna be 8 a.m. EST. It, I'll post the announcement in, my, uh, in the channel on YouTube later, like the community tab. But you, you all need to, you're not ready for this. We've got, so we're gonna basically have a ton of like really fun incentives. There's gonna be like kind of like pranks involved. 
that you all can get involved in. I'm not going to spoil them. We were thinking about releasing those, like, all of the incentives and stuff. And then we were like, no, 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 let's keep it a secret. So mark your calendars. It's going to be Friday. Uh, this Friday, we're going to be doing that. And I am very, very excited. So we're going to be building up a cozy world together while while raising money and while just like doing a bunch of shenanigans. And it's going to be super, super fun. So it's going to be super uh, Halloween -y vibes, fall vibes, and it's going to be such a good time. And then afterwards, I might I might still be doing some fall stuff. So keep your keep your eyes peeled for that for sure. For sure. Keep your keep your eyes peeled for that, because we have a lot of uh, stuff on like so many plans on this channel. So many things that we got to get through. I love fall weather. I love cozy, like cozy fall season. So I'm just like I'm trying to get all the content to align with that because I genuinely love it as well. Very much love it as well. Came in to say hello, working Thanksgiving, very sick. Also love y'all. Oh, Charlie, I hope you feel better soon. Working on Thanksgiving, boo. I hope it all goes well though. It's so nice to see ya. Googling Slovenian cuisine uh, in fascination. So it's, I would say Slovenian cuisine is like very similar to like, I guess like, I, I don't know. Cause it's, it's, it's close to like Croatia and stuff. So it's like a lot of like cabbage rolls. It's, uh, I, I guess, like, another comparison would be, like, Polish food, kind of. Like, lots of cabbage rolls, uh, sauerkraut, sausage, like, all that stuff. It's very, very delicious. Very good. Can't wait to watch the Halloween stream with Frog. It's gonna be such a good time. I am so, so excited, uh, for this to be happening. We did one last year, actually. Um, just me, though. It was, it was solo. It was in my other stream world that we have. And it was such a blast. The VOD actually is on uh, is on my uh, channel still if you want to check it out. It was so much fun. We had such a blast as a community. So being able to like organize something with a friend this year has been super fun. And we are very excited to kind of just like come together and raise money for like such a great cause. I will post also like details in the community tab about like what the charity is all about. They are such like an amazing uh, charity. They're called Gamers Outreach. Basically, they provide um, like gaming stations to hospitals for uh, kids who are currently like in treatment and stuff. So they're basically like these like rolly carts with video games on them, like Xboxes and stuff that they can easily move from one end of a hospital to another and provide entertainment for children who are like seeking treatment and stuff. And I, it's just such a wonderful cause. And also the people who run it are it's like such a great charity. So very, very excited to be part of that again. They're all like wonderful people there, so it's gonna be a good time. It's Friday, Friday. Was that song stuck in your head like it was mine? <laughs> mine? Like after stream, I was just constantly singing that. It was so good, so good. You get that with a lot of traditional Central European foods. Yes, Central European is the word I was looking for. Thank you. It's usually all one color and tends to have higher moisture content, but the flavors are amazing and very interesting. Totally. That is the best way to describe it. I love that. It's so true, though. Like, it's just everything's beige. But you know what? Like, put your faith. Just just put your faith in it. It's it's going to taste good. You know, that's the thing. That's the thing. <laughs> it may all look very beige, but I can tell you, I can tell you it all tastes very different from one another. Yeah, no, it was like a super, super fun time yesterday and the food was just delicious. So excited I get to eat it again. Cause you know what? Sometimes leftovers are better than like the day of, you know, all the juices like kind of settle in with one another and you're just, it's just, it's just better. It is just better. All right, we're gonna start pathing out some of this area. New Castaways SMP was just Halloween with you and Frog. <laughs> yes, it's Castaways, but also not <laughs> pretty much your world looks amazing thank you so much i appreciate it sauerkraut so isn't sauerkraut the best it is just so good so good honestly sauerkraut you get like the sausage oh like what a winning combination no notes no notes honestly Slovenian food is uh, similar to any Slavic food, i.e. Croatia, Russia, and such. Yes, exactly. Exactly. What time is it? It is noon over here right now. It is currently noon. All right, I gotta... 
sleep real quickly. You're going to have a great day, everybody. Wolf, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. We don't uh, celebrate Thanksgiving here in the Middle East, but my neighbors do, and we always have a full table of Arabic and the usual dishes, and it's such a fun and interesting cultural ex exchange. I love that. That's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, it's really interesting. Like, here in Canada, like, it is done very differently depending on, like, because we have so many, like, different cultures and stuff, and we all celebrate it very differently. And I, I find it very um, interesting and very fun, especially if you end up getting invited to like one of your friend's house. It's always really cool to see like what type of traditions they have as opposed to like what your family does. I used to volunteer at a children's hospital that had a couple of those carts and I can say from experience, there's so much joy on those kids' faces when you roll in the game carts. Oh my gosh, that makes me so, so happy that you've like had a real world experience like seeing those carts in action and like being able to attest to the fact that it's just like, genuinely such a good cause and being able to see like the actual real world effect that makes me so happy so happy i love this charity unfortunately i could only donate 500 last time i had the chance to donate honestly even like raising the awareness like if you all are just here to hang out that is just like more than more than what we could ask for as well because it raises awareness for like the organization as well so even even your support in that matter goes such a long way such a long way put your faith in the lord i feel like i'm a little bit behind on <laughs> some messages and just seeing big tiny duck write put your faith in the lord is just hilarious it's true though put your faith in the lard my grandmother i remember the, like i was always like why does the turkey taste so good at our thanksgiving dinners like why does hers specifically taste so good I went to her house when she was prepping our prepping the turkey one day and she literally like cut up like sticks of lard to like put like a wall around the turkey and like I saw her like rubbing it all over the turkey I was like oh like literally this thing is just like slathered in lard that's why it tastes so good grandma has no fear grandma has no fear at all and I respect it is it close to Hungarian? Went to a convention in Hungary once and the food was amazing. I think it's similar to Hungarian. I think it is. Yeah, only 500 for real depressed potato. For real, only 500. That is, that is a heckin' ton as well. You like pathing? Gonna use it for your fantasy world? Pathing honestly makes such a difference. I'm so happy we're here just to like vibe together, path some stuff out today. And like, it's gonna make such, such a difference because right now, beauty, beauty, right over here, sad, very sad. So we need to kind of like do this all the way around, I think. I think I also, I don't know, I might like change this into some fields as well. I would like to build a fishing hut here too, but I, I think maybe what we can do is build this out and then tear into it after. Um, just so I get like an idea of what's going on around here. You know what I mean? Build everything up first and then make the adjustments later. That's kind of like my plan, I, I would say. It's already starting to look so different around here though. It's wild. I knew the, um, the farmland was gonna make a huge difference to be honest. I was like, this one's gonna be like a game changer for this area pretty much. And it was. Very much was. Yeah, we're already t we're always talking about food, aren't we? <laughs> that's that's the way she goes. The way she goes, honestly. Okay, I think that's good. Just got a little bit of coarse dirt around here. And then we can start filling everything in with fencing and stuff, I think. I'm going to bring this back a little bit as well. Let's do that. Boom. Do you like boba? Oh my gosh, I love boba. We've been on, like, we went on a little bit of a boba kick recently, and it was so so it's like it's just been so good every once in a while we're like man i'm just craving some boba and we go get some for a while i fell off of it i don't know why i just kind of like forgot it existed 
And now I'm like, how could I ever think such a thing? Because boba is just so genuinely delicious. So good. I like the, um, I like the classic milk tea. Uh, and the strawberry one is really good too. We tried honeydew the other day. That one was pretty good. It tasted a little bit artificial. I mean, some of them do, but that one was like a little much in terms of the artificial taste. Still good though, but I think the classic milk tea is like top fave. You know what? Now that you mentioned it, I'm like, I am I going to get boba later? I might have to. You have sparked something. <laughs> uh, where am I? Oh, here we go. There we go. I'm gonna try like longer strips of fencing. It's kind of what I've been vibing with lately. I don't know why, I kind of like it. Need more azalea leaves though. I also need to get some more stakies for sure. Seeing those game cards must be kind of like seeing giant CR CRT TV and VHS combo trolley getting wheeled into the classroom. Are you showing your age too much? Oh my gosh, I remember those. And they had like the giant bungee cord on them so they didn't tip over on us. I totally, I remember that. You're like, oh, today's movie day. Guess, guess we're vibing today. Pepper Seed, welcome on in. How you doing? Nice to see you. Happy to have you here. Hope you're having a wonderful Monday. All right, let's continue with getting some azalea leaves up in here. Azalea is just so great. It's like, I think it's perfect for the farmland because it's like, it's just like got like that crunchy texture to it. I love it. There's just something about the azaleas. Also, I'm gonna have to put mending on this guy today, I think. Definitely gonna have to do that. I have to do some mending on him, and then we are going to... I need to repair it if we're going to be using it for uh, farmland. You know? Oops, I did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. My bad. Oh my gosh, Lisa! Lisa! Thank you so much for the 20... Can I get some big, big... Big swags in chat for Lisa. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that. That's very, very kind. Enjoy your stream, but sleep uh, before work is something I need more. Have a great day. I hope you get lots and lots of rest. Thank you so much again. I really, really appreciate that. I hope you have a wonderful night and I hope you have a good day at work as well. Hope you have a good day at work. Thank you so much, Lisa. I really appreciate that. I made a base in the Snowy Peaks Valley right above the ancient city you found a couple weeks ago on the Twitch world. It turned out super cute. Oh my gosh, if you have photos of that, post it in the Discord, please. I don't know if my stream elements is up and running. Was supposed to get that done uh, last week, but oh my gosh, just busiest week of my life last week. And this week's gonna be pretty crazy too. But um, I, can, I can throw down a link really quickly if you all need it. I would love, love, love to see that. That's that's an incredible seed, honestly. Such an incredible seed. And I'm so happy it's like serving other people well. Just got in. Been a while since I caught your stream and the farmland looks so good. Oh, Rachel, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. So nice to see ya. So, so nice to see ya. Yeah, we are working on some pathing today. Also, chat, if, um, if you haven't yet uh, and if you're enjoying the stream, please smash like smash like it actually really really does help the reach on uh youtube stream so i greatly appreciate it okay i think i'm gonna need some more regular azalea leaves sad i don't want to go tear those down oh wait no i've got some more i've got some more let's go i tried the psl as you suggested even made sure to get just a single shot and added extra espresso it was still so sweet that it aged me too <laughs> years <laughs> like you're gonna need like point <laughs> you're gonna specify 0.5 of a of a flavor shot please you know what like i do get it they're very sweet but <laughs> that's so funny it's true though they are really sweet they're really good though i found that the half sweet is what kind of uh does it for me but I remember I didn't like pumpkin spice for the longest time. It was the sweetness for sure. Once I figured it out, once I cracked the code on the pumpkin spice latte, 
I was like, I'm here for this. But before I was like, I am, I'm not here for this, you know? Not here for this. I'm here for other things. I say as I like get like a caramel macchiato and I'm like, can you put 12,000 pounds of caramel drizzle in that for me, please? And thank you. Like, what's the difference here, you know? Why was I complaining about the sweetness of a PSL and then I'm going order like the sweetest thing off the menu and I'm like, this is good. Now this, this is good. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna repair this so I can do some pathing. It is nighttime and I am scared. Oh my gosh. Just popped in while working on some lesson plans. Love your streams. Oh, Miranda, thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate it and thank you so much. I'm so happy you enjoy the streams. Hope you're having a good day and I hope uh, your lesson plans are going well. Speaking of movies, have you watched Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse? If you did, what do you think? What was your favorite scene? Is that the first Spider-Verse one? Like the first animated one? Cause I watched that one. I haven't watched the newest one yet. And that one I loved. I thought it was super cool. I wanna watch the, the newest one though. I have a feeling you're talking about the latest, which I have not seen yet. It is definitely on my list. No notes on the first one though. It was incredible. It was so fun to watch. Especially because usually, honestly, I'm not much of like a superhero film kind of gal. I just like, I don't know, I've, I've never really, I find like action movies like that with like super high stakes and stuff a little bit hard for me to follow, especially because like now there's so much lore involved in them. I feel like I've fallen very behind, but the Spider-Man ones, even the ones with Tom Holland, I'm like, these ones slap. Like these are certified slappers, you know? I love them. Yeah, Drift and I have a staff meeting. Exactly, Azzy. We absolutely do. We abso absolutely do. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just catching up on chat. You can look at my little my little face as if I'm talking to you all while I catch up. Put a picture of the base in the showcase chat on the Discord. Let's go. I will definitely take a look at it. <laughs> Cherith, welcome on in. Winter, welcome, welcome. How you doing? Nova, homie, how's it going? So nice to see ya. Fellow Nine Harder. Yeah, I, I was... <laughs> Are you, are you, Nova, are you plotting something? Are you plotting something? I saw you ask that question earlier about who has like, about the hearts. And I was like, mm, I don't know if this is a, a, a plot, a plot. I have a feeling I'm going to be losing another heart soon though. Also chat, if you have not checked out Nova's channel yet, please, please, please go on and check, check his stuff out. He is a fellow uh, ex-lifer, such an incredible content creator. So, so fun love like super chill content also has like a chill like let's play going on as well so make sure you go check them out oh it's the second movie yeah i missed it i missed the second movie sadly i will be catching up though the spider-man ones are like are ones i can get behind for sure but you probably watch pixar's elemental i actually have not seen that yet is that like Similar, why do I feel like it's similar vibes to, what's the one with the the brain? Inside Out, The one, that movie made me sob like a baby. If Elemental's anything like Inside Out, I don't know if I can handle it. Honestly, don't know. Like, I don't know if it's worth it at this point. Even if it's like something of a masterpiece, I'm like, but do I wanna sob uncontrollably for like 12 hours, you know? I'm just not too sure. Just not too sure about that one. I'll probably get around to watching it though, let's be real. But later on, cause right now it's it's Halloween season. I'm watching all the scary films, all of the scary ones. I don't know what we're gonna watch tonight though. Um, Last night we watched, <laughs> we watched The Village last night. I don't know if any of you have ever seen that. It's an M. Night Shyamalan movie and it's, it's so, oh, it's got a twist at the end. I remember watching it all, like in theaters or something like when it came out a long, long time ago. And we were like, does this movie still hold up? So we we watched it and you know what? Like it's it's enjoyable. It's enjoyable. I can't, I cannot lie. Uh, so we watched that last night and the, the night before we watched Barbarian again, which is a terrifying movie. That movie really creeps me out. Really disturbing, but it's, it's a good one. I'm so happy we had like a second 
watch of that one too because that's one of those films where like the whole time stuff is happening it's like you're like not expecting you're expecting something else so going into it again knowing kind of what happens it was a little bit of a treat to be able to see all of like the foreshadowing you know you'll probably get zootopia vibes oh okay okay zootopia was great they changed the name of that recently isn't it like i don't know it's, it's not zootopia anymore i saw it on like netflix a while back and i was like that is literally the poster of zootopia but that is not the name it once had Do you have any favorite scary Minecraft mods? I actually don't. I, that is something I don't, I'm not too familiar with. Honestly, I'm just saying, I know that uh, Nova, Knives, uh, Moon, and Bertha do play some of like the scary Minecraft mods and stuff like that. So go check them out. I have not really delved into the scary Minecraft stuff. Honestly, as much as I love them, scary video games are like, way worse than scary movies. I guess because you're fully immersed in it, right? Like, I don't know. Oops, why'd I do that? It's just like, it's something else playing a scary video game, TBH. The Village, it's the worst movie, <laughs> honestly. Like, it's like, it's one of those movies where it's like, it is kind of bad, but it's like, it it's also kind of good, you know? Like, I'm, I'm here for the cheesiness. Here for the cheesiness. Tell me what shaders you use. I use complimentary shaders. Hey, wait, I, now I need to break this into Corster. I see what I'm doing here. I see what I'm doing here. There we go. Isn't that the grandparents movie with the oven scene? No, okay. Wait a second. I feel like I know what you're talking about, though. There's like something like these two kids visit their grandparents. What movie is that? I feel like me and Big Tiny Duck watched that movie a long time ago. Like they go to visit their grandparents and they have like a video camera, like a digital video camera that's like kind of 2000s ish. Oh, my gosh. What is that movie called? I remember watching it and it was really creepy. <gasps> I want to rewatch that movie, whatever it is. Rainbow, welcome on in. How you doing? Have you seen the new mob vote? Which uh, mob are you voting for? Okay, I'm kind of leaning towards the penguin because I really like boats. But you know what? I would be happy with any of them. My one my one single gripe I have is I'm just like, why, why isn't the crab found in the beach? I would be more inclined to vote for it if it wasn't solely located in the mangrove because I'm like, I explained this to chat on Friday when we were streaming on Twitch, I was kind of just like, okay, so my thing with the mob vote is like right now, I feel like biomes need a lot of love. I actually am totally cool with like any of the benefits the mobs give, like such as the armor and stuff for the dogs. Totally cool. I just like really think biomes at the moment just need love and life added to them. So I was a little bit disappointed to see the crab was only located in the mangrove. And I'm like less inclined to vote for it. I'm not going to lie. I kind of am. I'm more inclined to vote for like the armadillo or the um, or the penguin because I'm like, yeah, I do want to like go to the savannah and see like a cute little dude just like vibing and rolling around, you know? So I think it's between those two right now. And also the boat, the boat, the whole thing with the boat going faster. I genuinely do use boats quite a bit in Minecraft, so I, I would like that. That's the visit. That one's scary. Okay, Big Tiny Duck. We should watch that one tonight. That was that one's a really good film. Really do like that one. There we go. This is looking a little bit better. Now we got some like proper pathing to walk through. Look at that. Cute. Recommend Insidious or It? Oh my gosh, I love those films. Those ones are always at the top of my list. You know what though? We were gonna watch like a supernatural type movie last night with ghosts. And then I was like, honestly, like I'm so tired. I'm probably, I might pass out in like five minutes. So I don't know if I can handle going to sleep. Um, Like just after watching a film like that. So we held off, we held off on those ones. 
Okay, I'm gonna go feed the cows real quickly because I need some food really bad. The Visit, good movie. Yeah, it was surprisingly very good. I think Big Tiny Duck showed it to me a while ago and I was like, oh, like I've never seen this before and it was, it was creepy. Is it like Hansel and Gretel? You know what? Taco, I actually would not be surprised if like that was obviously the direct inspiration of it. You know what? Kind of is in a way. It kind of is. Looks so beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate it. I do not have any wheat whatsoever. I got to go get some. I feel like the armadillo is best bet, but that's just me. Yeah, the armadillo, I feel like also having the armadillo like kind of roll around would look so cool in the savanna. And same with the penguin. I imagine the way that the penguin moves, like I could picture it kind of like belly sliding across ice and stuff. I think that would be the coolest as well. I don't know. I think that it's funny because like I mainly build in Minecraft and even still, I'm just like, I don't know. Like the crab claw is really cool. It would also be really useful if you could like break blocks that are a little bit too high. But I'm thinking more so that like biome aesthetics at this point, you know? It's a reference to mud crab found in IRL mangrove forest. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense then. I'm just like a little bit sad that like the beach is not getting any love, I guess. Using cute animals to emotionally blackmail people into going to the mangrove biomes. You know what? They already have frogs though. That's a thing. I'm like the mangrove already has frogs. So like, I'm just like, we got to give love to a different biome. Yeah, I do find it interesting that like, even though I am a builder, I'm just like still not too concerned about like the reach thing. I'm like, you know what? I just don't know how much I'm going to use it. I feel as though maybe it is something I would use a lot because I feel as though whenever I'm given a tool or something in Minecraft, like a shield, I just completely forget it exists. That's a me problem, though. That's a me problem. What GPU do you use? I think I have a... Th I upgraded to like a 3080, I think. I think so. I watched The Conjuring last night. Um for the third time forever a fave oh same that's one i think we watch pretty much yearly at this point it's genuinely really scary you know what i i would say that like some of the conjuring movies like they do fall a little flat like the first one will always be my favorite i think it's the third one that i really didn't like i think it's the, the third one that I was just kind of like meh about what edition do you play on i play on java I'm voting for the crab. It's cute. It's more useful than the armadillo and penguin combined. Honestly, that's totally fair. See, that's the thing about the mob vote. I think like, I think they do a good job in having like options that like kind of suit everybody's needs, which makes it like interesting to see like what the actual outcome of the vote is going to be. At the end of the day, I think I'll be hap happy with anything. Um, I'm not going to be sad any which way, but it's, it is interesting that they present very, very wildly different options. I love some of the meme descriptions people have given the mob. So the armadillo one is your dog who sits in your base 24 seven will now do that with armor. No, literally, literally. I don't know how valuable like the armor is going to end up being. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting, though. I'm just like. I feel as though the problem with the dogs is more so like the mechanics of it as well. I don't know if armor's gonna solve it from being just like kinda useless. You know what I mean? As as horrible as that is to say, I just don't know if like the solution is, oh, hey, here's some armor. I think the dog literally needs to be reworked in the way that it moves. The mob vote is so tough. Yo, Matt, homie, nice to see ya. And yeah, I think, I think it's kind of like a, a tough vote for sure. No, I forgot to leave that wheat over there. Dang it. We're going back there anyway, though. I need to drop off some of this stuff. I just try to, like, I think for me, I try to not put too much stock in all of it. Oh my gosh, thank you. <gasps> Does that have strawberries in it? Raspberry? Oh my gosh. Chat, Big Tiny Duck just brought me a sparkling water. Yeah, it's got lemon. It's got lemon. With lemon? lemon juice and raspberries can i get 
can we can we all type in big tiny swag in chat oh it's so good oh my gosh hmm that's delicious oh my god I think it'd be cool to see a mob uh, like the crab scuttling up and around on trees, but I'm voting for dog armor. Yeah, exactly. I love how I love how this mob vote has presented like so like people don't know what to do because they're like dog armor, like given. But then they're also like, oh, but like the crabs are so cool at the same time. I like that it's kind of making people go like panic a bit and be like, what do I choose? I think I think like this is probably one of my favorite votes to be honest, in a while, you know? Boats are practically useless once you get an elytra, not to mention we also have nether traveling. Yeah, that's, I, I do understand that. Surprisingly, I still always end up using my boat for some reason. I don't know why. I found like, the one thing I don't use though is chest boats because I find that I usually use my boat to travel between places. I end up like breaking it to go across pieces of land and rivers. And the chest boat was kind of a disappointment for me because then all your stuff just breaks and you're kind of screwed, right? But I I don't know. I would, I would like to have a speedy boat. I mean, it would have been perfect for castaways, but still. If they're going for improving dogs, new skins, variants would be a start. Oh, totally. You know what? I... I do feel bad. I do truly feel bad for all for all the fellow dog lovers in chat. I'm so sorry <laughs> you all do not have like different variants and stuff because like to be a cat lover in Minecraft is just well like like look at all the options we have, you know? It's wild. It's I genuinely do feel bad for you all. I find it kind of surprising too, cause I'm just like, I feel like generally speaking, there are more like dog lovers in the world than there are cat lovers. And I'm just like, I'm shocked that you guys got the short end of the stick for this one, you know? Did they do the cat, like the cat upgrade when they did the villager upgrade or something? I feel like that makes the most sense. She's a real one. Big Tiny Duck is a real one, honestly. Had a work call, I missed everything, but big, big tiny swag, let's go. I hope your work call went well, uh, Lauren. The penguins are blue? Wait, are they? Gotta go, need sleep, no worries, uh, Sammy. I hope you have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging out, though. I appreciate it. I don't care about boat speed, but penguins are my favorite animal, so I'm voting penguin. Let's go. See, there's something there's something for everybody in this update. I'm I'm telling you. What were even the options with like the sniffer last year? I don't remember. Was that the copper golem one? I literally like don't even remember anymore. Just widening out some of these paths. Just to give ourselves a little bit more space. Just a wee bit. There we go. Okay, let's go here. Cherry, what's going on? So nice to see ya. Elytras with fireworks may be the biggest mistake in Minecraft. Ruins horses and minecarts. You know what? To be honest though, in my opinion, horses were never good to be <laughs> I I know it's like a meme at this point that like pretty much every SMP I've been on, except surprisingly castaways, like me and Brooke have done something with horses and I'm basically like, oh, I love horses. I hate horses in Minecraft. I really don't like them. They get stuck in trees. They just like, they don't move around like well enough. I find them so frustrating. I think elytras are great for like, like later on in the game when you're doing bigger builds and stuff but like i think like even with this world if i have an elytra i actually do want to be more like conscious i guess of the use like how i use it because i think like a big thing that i really enjoy about this world is that i actually do walk it a lot and i've this is something i've been like really contemplating with this world in particular is like 
do I go to the end and get an elytra? I don't know. It would help me a lot in terms of being able to discover what's around here. Because my one problem with this world is like, I'm kind of limited with resources around me. And like, things are just very, very far away in this world. Like every time I've updated it, I've had no good luck with like, you know, resetting chunks. Everything around me is very like, all of the new stuff is very, very far away from me. So I'm like, ugh, I don't know. I'm contemplating doing getting an elytra in this world for that reason. But like, I also kind of want to stay true to not necessarily using it all the time. I don't know. I don't know. I think Copper Golem was with Glare and Alay. Oh, okay, okay. You know what? Alays are cute and I know they have uses, but they, they were not my fave, not my fave. So somebody brought up a really good point to me the other day though, about like sniffers. Somebody was like, you should use an Alay like at your sniffer sanctuary because I don't have a sniffer farm that collects everything. I just have the sniffers roaming free. So when they collect their seeds, they always just despawn because that's just how I built this thing. And somebody was like, you should get some allays in here. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is actually such a brilliant idea. Why have I not done that before? So smart. So that was something something I was considering. I was like, oh dang, I never thought to use them like that. Cause I've, I've never really been a fan of allays and like <laughs> using them. I mean, if anybody has seen, uh, seen me on Twitch, we went to a woodland mansion once and I brought home like 12 LA's. Nearly all of them are missing now and I literally don't even care. <laughs> Everyone's like, Drift, what are you doing? And I'm like, meh, whatever, it's fine. I always miss the votes, I forget to vote every time. Yeah, I think I've, I have missed a couple as well. I'm pretty sure I have. When is this one happening? I gotta make sure I vote for this. Horses ruin themselves. No, exactly. They just are never good to begin with. I want a crocodile in Minecraft because my favorite Pokemon is a crocodile. There we go. Crocodiles would be sick too. I would love to have like a little alligator friend, you know? It was Sniffer, Tough, go uh, tough Golem, and something else I don't remember. Yeah, the Tough Golem, I don't think I was too keen on either. I think the Sniffer was the best bet for last year's. I really like them. I think they're really funny. The truth comes out, she's a fraud. Wait, what did I say? What did I say, big tiny duck, huh? What say to my face? I cannot provoke big tiny duck. She will come in here and roast me. I'm scared. Oh yeah, the, about the horses. Oh yeah, no, I'm totally... Yeah, when it comes to that... Pfft. Horse excellence, more like horse not good. <laughs> I lied to Brooke. Okay, to be fair, to be fair, if <laughs> at the end of Bloodlines, when me and Brooke are, are wrapping up our horse excellence thing, literally, I even asked her, I was like, do you even like horses? And she was like, they're okay. She was like, do you like them? And I was like, nah, not really. So I did admit it. I admitted it to her, okay? I'm not a fraud, I swear. I'm not. I did admit to her that I never liked them. And she was like, okay. All right, fair enough. Horse girl drama in the Minecraft community, always, always. Bastion, welcome on in. Uh, how's life? And thanks for streaming, nice evening. Oh, thank you so much uh, for popping in, I appreciate it. And life, you know what? Life is going great today, we are vibing. We had a long weekend here and I got a lot of rest this weekend. A lot of much needed rest. I saw my family this weekend feeling super super happy we're gonna be watching some cozy movies tonight and i am just like vibing hope you're having a good one as well it's the swimming where the horses lose it for me why can't i ride them while i swim and pushing them across like a river to get them home and they're like constantly oh gosh i'm coughing they're like constantly almost dying it's just like it's such a pain i'm like you know what? it's not worth it and also, why is it when you ride a horse, like <laughs> if you ride it through a forest, you're done. You can't even, It's just, it just doesn't make sense. Like, I don't know. The fact that a horse can barely traverse like half the terrain that it walks on in Minecraft, I'm like, okay, this, this just feels very flawed at this point. 
And it, there's just no point. I'm gonna use my little feetsies, you know? I got my little boots on. I got my little insoles, my Dr. Shoals. So you know what? I'm here for I'm here for a good time. Look at these boots. They're weatherproof. They're a little water resistant. I'm I'm just gonna use my feet, you know? Glares look good, but they're useless. Yeah, we have we have some of the glares in X Life and or not X Life, sorry, Castaways. We actually I don't know if X Life has them as well. I haven't seen any yet. Stay tuned for that one. But we do have some in Castaways, and they're literally useless. I mean, if you know, you know, with like Sev and Froggy in the glares, it's hilarious. <laughs> it's so good. <coughs> I used to love a laze as a collector when I'm building, and I knocked. Uh, I love to use the lays as a collector when I'm building. I knock down the scaffolding and then just grab them for me and for wood chopping and for bamboo collecting. Okay, maybe I have done this all wrong. I am going to I am going to give the lays another shot. I am going to give the lays another shot because that actually does sound very useful. I think I just never gave them a chance to begin with. Mrs. Dark Fairy, so nice to see you. How you doing? Also, chat, Mrs. Dark Fairy is a fellow ex-lifer and if you have not seen her stuff yet go on over to her channel and check it out such amazing amazing content so many shenanigans on x life i hope you're doing well it's so nice to see you maybe now you can be one of us one of us without elytras honestly i kind of dig it sometimes like like i said the elytra is is so great because it opens up being able to travel to things a lot easier like it is a time saver no doubt but in terms like I'm actually very, very content running around this world, just running around this world for now. It's just the only thing is like traveling long distances is I just need to save a little bit of time. And I think that's the only thing that's making me consider an elytra for this world. But I don't know if it's going to kill the magic if I get one. I'm actually like, I don't know if I'm overthinking it, but I'm a little bit worried that the elytra might kill some of the magic that I have in this world, you know? Hi, Drifting everyone. I'm going to be lurking today as I'm busy. Pockets, no worries. I hope you're having a good one. It's so nice to see you, though. They need an overhaul, as does the terrain. Agreed. I think some of the terrain, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, the, I think biomes in general just, like, kind of need some love in Minecraft. Like, we have gone through so, so many updates, and it's starting to become kind of, like, noticeable when one, like, when a new biome pops up it's like it starts becoming very noticeable like how different it is like these classic forests feel so different than like a mangrove does i think if they just added like just a couple things in like into some of the new bot or the old biomes to like give them a little bit of life it would make such a difference i'm i'm always like i'm always big on like i'm like birds please i want i want birds in minecraft so bad so bad. Don't horses actually swim even when being driven? Like IRL? I don't know. I don't know anything about horses. I assume they do. Or wait, do horses not like water IRL? I'm not sure. I'm no horse expert, you know? Rather use your socks and sandals than the hoofs of a horse. Exactly. Exactly. My good old reliable shoes, you know? Nothing like them. I played Oregon Trail. Horses can swim. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting different responses here. Apparently, horses can in fact swim. Do you even have glares anymore on castaways or did frog lava all of them? Honestly, cabbage still exists. But cabbage is in the care of Sparkle Egg. I'm not too sure we have any more on castaways though. Frog may have gotten to all of them. <laughs> Drift, I don't know if you're a texture pack user, but I recently found a pack name. Uh, a jick, 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 Wow, I really struggled with that word. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I will have to check it out though. Thank you for the recommendation. I am, I don't really use texture packs that often, but like when I do modded, I'm always open to having some like cool stuff. Had a great family family re weekend too. The week uh, started chilled, so I can't complain. No, for real. That's how I feel too. I feel extremely, extremely rested this weekend. It's still technically a weekend here because it's the long weekend, so I'm still getting those like really chill vibes right now. You know, 
it just feels so nice like knowing that like big tiny duck is home today so after stream we're gonna like hang out we're gonna watch some movies probably just like do some chores around the house and it's just gonna be a good time Did you use friends and foes for mod glares? Uh, the friends and foes mod for glares. Yes, I think that's the one that has the, um, actually, let me check. Cause we do have that mod, but we also have another one. Hold on a second. There was friends and foes, but there was also, mm. Hold on a second. There is another one. It might be no naturalist. I think provides the like alligators and the deer and stuff. I think it's friends and foes. Pretty sure. Melissa, welcome on in. How you doing? Elytra just makes it easier for me to traverse the nether. A risky feat though. No, totally. Exactly. Like I think at the end of the day, especially in this world, because we're going to be here for a while, I think it's going to turn into like I think we're gonna end up having an elytra I'm pretty sure you know what I mean but as of now like it's it's one of those things I'm not like really rushing I never really do rush it though honestly I find that like the my style of play for the most part I can get away with not having one for a while but it's once you start getting into a long-term world you kind of need one like I don't know how I could operate in my long-term stream world without the one that we've got for sure How far you could travel from the island with Elytra and what would happen if you built a portal out there? Wait, like the end island? I don't even know. I don't really know how the end works. It kind of confuses me. Or are you talking about the castaways island, Azzy? I think people should appreciate traveling normally exploring. I think Elytra kind of makes ter terrain and journey less exciting. Yeah, see, that's like one of the things that like I kind of get that idea too. It makes traveling so easy so you can go get your materials and stuff really easily. But like, I do agree that it does kind of like take away some of the like magic of exploration in some ways. Oh, in Castaways. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm not even going to spoil a thing. We do, we do start, um, we do start seeing some stuff though. That's all I'm going to say. What's Frog's favorite mob? She lavas, glares, and she despises dolphins. I don't know what Froggy's favorite would be. I'm, I'm going to say maybe pandas. She's been taking care of her panda on Castaways. Yeah, she's been she's been um she's been really really vibing with the pandas, I would say. All right, this is already starting to look a little bit better. Oh yeah. We need like a build up in here. Right here. You know what? There's so much potential for builds now. You know what I mean? Once you start pathing everything out, it's just like you be able to you're like able to envision things a lot more clearly and I love that. Like I could even fit another build in here. I don't know what though. We've got a sugarcane farm here. We got our little villager area right here, which I would love to get a couple more villager dudes here. Um, dang, what would be good here? That something farm like, maybe some other type of like, like a melon farm would be good. I don't know. What's Frog's favorite mob? Yeah. <laughs> stumped true true i'm like hmm frog crafting well what what if somebody's name is frog crafting what would their favorite mob be <laughs> i'm dead have you ever met any of the other girls like brooke or frog in real life no i have not honestly i would love 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 for that to happen one day we do talk about that um the one tricky thing is like actually yeah, like we're we're all pretty far from each other, but you know what? Never say never though. I would that would just be fantastic if we could all meet up one day. I would love that. Definitely, definitely never say never with that. 
All right, I think that's good. Where's the last part that I... Oh, right here. And then we're pretty much done. Heck yeah. Hey, through welcome on in. How you doing? I'm gonna have to repair my uh, shovel a little bit. I think I'm gonna have to get my unbreaking villager sooner rather than later. We are doing... Um, if y'all didn't see it the other day, I put out a poll for what we should build next. And obviously, obviously the bee, the bee farm. The bee farm came out as the winner. So I'm very excited about that. And I also, I, I think I know where I'm going to put it. I'll show you all in a second. I've kind of got an idea for it. The next episode might be a little while away, though, unfortunately, just because, um... I have a lot of stuff coming up with like the charity and stuff like that and some other videos like on castaways that's going to be wrapping up a lot sooner than we realize so i'm really trying to get a bunch of castaways in before it's all done absolutely wild though i can't believe like we basically hit the halfway point like last week or something like that so it's it's going to be wrapping up very very soon which i'm a little, a little sad about of course i am i'm having a blast but there's lots and lots of fun stuff we got planned, so. My kids are home today and almost made me miss you. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Oh, Alicia, I hope you're having a great day. Um, I had a great weekend. We, I was uh, mentioning to chat earlier about how I had Thanksgiving weekend and it's just been so, so nice, so restful. I hope you've had a great weekend as well. We are just vibing today. We are building out a bunch of paths and kind of trying to fix up our farmland here. And it's looking pretty good. There we go. I think this looks a little bit better now. I don't want to like put trees or anything like in the plains area yet. I think like this is like good enough for now. So at least like when we're <laughs> I'm like talking about walking on paths and I'm like walking beside the paths. I'm like, oh, yeah. So at least when we're walking on paths, I'm like not even on them. But at least when you walk through here now, it's a little bit, a little bit nicer. Yeah, this is looking good. Let's look at the overhead really quickly. Yeah, I need to get rid of the bone meal farm. I don't really use that anymore because I have my spider spawner. This, I think I might fill this in with some uh, wheat, wheat and carrots, maybe something like that. Where's the poll? If you go into the community tab on my um, on my YouTube channel, you'll see it there. Block down, block down's one of the gals, definitely. Imagine the night sky filled with stars in Minecraft. Oh, don't some of the mods have like really nice night skies? I usually go vanilla sky because it feels I I kind of like having shaders that still almost look vanilla, -y, but some of the shader skies are like really cool. Okay, I've got some more steak here. I need to drop off some of this stuff. We need to organize a little bit. Just just a wee little bit. Actually, you know what? The wheat seeds can stay because we're probably going to use them, right? Yes. Move this around. Put this guy here. And then We don't need beets. Beets and stuff, I'm just gonna keep over here. I'm gonna have to do like a storage barn eventually. It's, I don't wanna make the same mistake I made in my survival world where things just get out of hand very quickly. My storage is still kind of working. It's working out a little bit, but I can see that it's starting to become a problem. So I can see a future big problem. So we're gonna try to fix that up eventually. Oh, dang, this is looking so good. I can't believe how many builds are already in this world. This It feels like yesterday I started with the starter house, which is so not true, but... Bee farms are a pain in the ass to deal with. I hate the mechanics of the bees. Honestly, I've done a couple before. I had one that's, like, severely failed where, like, the honeycomb, when it shears, like, it falls out. But I didn't have, like, a glass thing to protect it. Surprisingly, the ones I did were have been, like, okay, though. Am I doing anything in this world for Halloween? Not in this world. I'm going to be doing a charity stream, though, on Friday with uh, Frog Crafting. We are going to be doing a um, duo stream where we raise money for Gamers Outreach. And we have a modded Halloween-ish world 
that we're going to be building in together and it is so cute i think both of us are going to end up probably using the mod pack for just whatever after like we both built it we're both free to use it so we were like talking about that how i was like oh dang like i don't i might try something with this after i was thinking um maybe some long plays or something we could do because i want to get back into doing long plays but with commentary uh so definitely keep your eye out for that for sure okay i'm gonna get rid of this I don't need this anymore oops there we go nice yes okay perfect you know what i don't necessarily want to get rid of this entirely maybe i'll just like make a giant bone meal section in like this place like these don't really have anything in them yet so why not right why not You love castaways? I know, I know, I love castaways too. It's one of those things where it's like, I feel like SMPs are great when they have like, when you don't run them for too long and run them into the ground, especially if you have kind of like a concept, like one, I think one of the most important things to do is to like, kind of recognize when something might, like something might need an end date, but at the same time, it's always really hard to like, let go, you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, like we created something like super, super fun, but also like who knows what's going to come next, right? There's always going to be other opportunities and stuff. And I think we're all like looking forward to that as well. I think that works. Uh... Let me try the beats real quick. Random reminder to like the stream. All space or fish. Thank you so much. Yeah, if you all are enjoying the stream, definitely, definitely throw down a like. It really helps with the reach on YouTube, and I very much appreciate it. Astra Lex shaders have uh, beautiful skies. I have not heard of that shader pack actually. I've honestly, I feel like there's been tons of shaders that have come out that I haven't really like looked into yet because I've, I've always been on complimentary and stuff i should work on the inside of this why not why not uh let's do that get rid of these guys and i'm gonna have to go to bed soon do you know any minecrafter who just uh, who is just well proportionate builder redstone or explorer and speedrunner all of those things i don't know honestly i would like i would say that like i would say gem fits a lot of those criterias because gem does a lot of like actually no not speed running sorry that's like parkour and stuff and like mcc stuff i don't know about speed running you know what with speed running i would say grady Grady on Twitch. Grady on Twitch and Switchback Mongo are like, they do a lot of speed running and they also do like a lot of building and stuff. I would definitely say both of them would fit that criteria for sure. Definitely, definitely. Couldn't sleep so back. No worries, Lisa. No worries. Hope it's all going well, though. Sean, thank you so, so, so much for that one. Thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate it. Can I get some big, big, big swags in chat for Sean? Thank you so, so much. Let's go. Big swags. Throw them down in the chat. I want to see them. I want to see them. I want to see them. The Halloween world should have Cave Dweller uh, from the Fog and the main from the Man from the Fog. Have you heard of those mods? I have not heard of those mods actually. Have not. We did find some really good decorational mods. Um, you all are in for a very big treat. It is going to be so good, so so good. I am very very excited to show you all which mods we picked out. 
But Meal Farm reminds me of the Shovel Destroyer. That was one of the funniest things. I literally screamed when that happened. Like, actually let out, like, the biggest scream of my life. Because <laughs> I genuinely did not, that was not me just, like, being like, haha, like, this is going to be funny as, like, a joke. No, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to just completely destroy my shovel and lava. It was so funny. Honestly, I deserved it, though. There we go. I feel like we should put a bed in here. I want to, like, start doing that again, where, like, you just have beds ready to go. So you can, like, if you need to, like run and sleep somewhere so mobs literally don't destroy your life you can do that you know i think that's like another big thing i need in this world are just beds everywhere uh this gravel i don't want uh, i don't want to step on the crops lisa thank you so so much for the 10 chat you know what to do you know what to do lisa thank you so so much that's very very kind of you chat Throw down the biggest swags you can in chat as well. Thank you so much. Curious, have you ever played on an SMP with someone who is not a content creator? I love playing with others, uh, but just afraid of the camera. Actually, yes. I would say that um, One Shot is an SMP that has a lot of people who, like they create content for Instagram on, and stuff like that. So they are content creators, but like not in the sense that they make videos or they stream. So a lot of them are just kind of like vibing and stuff. And you know what? Like they they are just like incredible content creators. They're super nice. They're super fun. Like I find that like, I don't know. I think like every SMP, like having a full YouTube SMP is a little bit different because like you are planning your content around filming. But when you have something that has like a really cool mix of like different styles of content creators and stuff, it's very, very fun. You learn so much. I love it. I always think it's like a nice change of pace. Like, I would say that like sometimes like one of the things with one shot that was a little bit hard sometimes was like, you know, making YouTube content on it can be a little bit tricky because a lot of it has to do with like planning your shots and stuff like that. But it is still very much possible. Like I know Blockdown made a video, Legs did. You just have to like kind of plan your content a little bit differently, you know? Okay, what do I need now? Oh yeah, we need bed. Bed. Lime bed. You have a favorite anime? To be honest, I don't really watch much anime. I've never really gotten into it. I wish I have though, because I feel like I'm kind of like missing out, but never really know where to begin, like begin with that, you know? Uh, let's torch this really quickly. There we go. Yes. Perfect. Honestly, this... Yeah, no, I don't think we're ever going to build up there, to be honest. That can just get covered as well. All right, let's do... Ah! The box cat? Wait, which box cat again are we talking about? Swag. Oh, um, swag. Begin with Naruto. Yeah, I've heard Naruto is a good one. I watched, okay, there was one that I watched a long time ago that I really enjoyed. So it's, it's not that I haven't watched, like, I've seen things here and there, but never fully committed to one. I've watched like a little bit of, I think, Space Dandy. That one was very interesting. Never finished it though. Um, That was just like on, while I was like hanging out with some friends. Full Metal Alchemist is one that I think I kind of started. And I was actually like really digging the first bit of it. And then I just kind of fell off. I think a lot of them, I, I just get a little bit intimidated by like how long the series can be. I'm like, oh no, this is a lot. Like this is a full on commitment. So I think that's like kind of one thing that makes me not, <laughs> not really watch them. Box cat. I should be planning my own video on my actual channel, but here I am watching Infinite. Oh, I hope the video is going well though. That's very exciting. I feel that though. Sometimes you just like need a little bit of a break and like 
I don't know, just some vibes. I totally do that. Like sometimes I'll see some people streaming. I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'll just do this instead. Let's go. I'm more of a behind the scenes person. I help create uh, many, many huge builds. Uh, if one, I can put pics of builds helped on Discord and did the RP thing, but don't create content for social media. Yeah, I totally get that. I have a couple of friends who do that as well. And I, I don't know, like, I think being behind the scenes is, like, super cool, too, though. I would definitely love to see what, uh, what you've done in the Discord, for sure. We have, like, quite a few friends on, um, One Shot who are the same. They don't, they literally don't make content at all, but, like, they do stuff for, like, I think, like, Marketplace and stuff like that. And it, it's so cool to see. Right, I need some trap doors. My Hero Academia is my all-time fave. I've heard that name thrown around a lot as well. Yeah, I think if I get into it, I'm gonna have to like pick one and then just kind of like deep dive into it, you know? I know there's quite a few on Netflix that I could watch. Cowboy Bebop is one that I've heard a lot about. And I think they're the people who made Space Dandy, right? Pretty sure. I think that's one that a lot of people said I would quite enjoy. Boom. Nah, we want, uh, what's it called? What you might call it? Signs, we want signs there. I need ladders too. Soul Eater is a fun and short anime. It's pure Halloween vibes. Okay, I would love that. Okay, I'm gonna write some of these down for reals. Soul Eater. This looks kind of wicked, you know? That looks kind of sick. I love that. If you never watch uh, Pokemon before, I think you should watch Pokemon Horizons, the series. Oh, I was a big old Pokemon fan when I was younger. I haven't watched like, does it still run regularly? I'm assuming it does. I'm assuming Pokemon is still going on, right? I remember there was like an episode in like the first season or whatever when Brock stays with the butterfly place or something and I sobbed like a baby and my mom was like, what is wrong? And I was like, the Brock is he's staying with the butterflies. And, I, and she was like, oh my God god what are you talking about and i was like <laughs> this is so sad now i'm like i i don't remember <laughs> i think that's what happens but i remember being like heartbroken for some reason that brock decided to stay where the butterflies were classic mm, let's do that or actually let's do I have oak trap doors somewhere too. I think here I'm gonna do like a little boop, 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 boop. Let's do two. Cute. I think all the way down though. I need more trap doors. More, I say. I'm gonna grab the crafting table and stuff too so we can hide in there. We'll have like a little, little space. I feel like also a furnace is always nice to have somewhere as well make it functional you know just make it as functional as you can oh my god thror homie it's so nice to see ya how you doing <gasps> how's it going how you been all right i think something like that would be good we were just uh i was just going on about pokemon just now whoops we are building out in our chill survival world. You may recognize the skin that you did for me quite a while back, but we are we are building out in our chill survival world today. Um, we are working on some pathing and decorating some spaces that are that just need some functionality. So this is our little farmland that we have right now. Uh, we finished this about a week and a bit back. I think it looks pretty cute. Really into that, and we were just like kind of working on some pathing kind of giving ourselves footprints to like lay out for future builds 
like now we've got a really nice spot here we can utilize over here as well so it kind of helped like really like show where everything's gonna be i'm really happy with it <clears throat> it's still going on it's more modern now oh heck yeah heck yeah Yeah, I really liked Pokemon when I was younger. I was very much into that show. I thought it was like the coolest thing in the world. I still want to like, I really, I told chat that I have all of my old, um, I do have like all of my old, whatchamacallit, like Pokemon cards in a binder somewhere at my parents' house. I want to bring them back one day and go through them with you all. Cause like, I feel as though you all have a lot more knowledge than I do on Pokemon. So it'd be interesting to like, kind of see what's what. Cause I have, a lot of them are very, like they're like, I guess, would you call them first editions? I don't know. But I'm sure there's somebody with a lot of knowledge in chat that could be like, oh, that is actually very cool to have. And I'll be like, oh yeah, let's go, let's go. We don't talk about Bye Bye Butterfree here. Okay, that's what it was. Bye Bye Butterfree. I remember sobbing like a baby when that episode happened. I'm glad I I'm glad I didn't overreact as a child. Apparently it's still it's still a traumatizing episode to have. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> that's really funny. You know what? I'm gonna make like a little little cabinet here for this thing. Boom, boom. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Something like that. And then we can like build something here too. Also, Bastion, we'll see you later. Doing great, thought I'd drop in and say hi. Aw, thanks, Sora. I appreciate it. So nice to see ya. We gotta we gotta catch up soon, for sure. For sure. It's been a hot minute since we've uh spoken. I hope I hope you've been doing well though. We'll definitely have to have a catch up soon. You know what I just realized? I blocked that off. I'm gonna have to like do this or something. There. Just to access it. I don't know if that's awkward. You know what? Maybe like a stair. So I can still kind of access it. I don't mind that. Boom. Easy. Easy peasy, you know? Do we have campfires? Let's see. Reese, welcome on in. How you doing? We've come a long way to generation nine now, my favorite generation. Yeah, I think I kind of like fell off with some of the Pokemon. Like I, I remember the last Pokemon Game Boy game that I was really into was like gold and silver. I remember seeing, being able to see the change from daytime to nighttime was like, that was mind blowing. And like, I'll never forget that. I think that was one of my favorite games as a child, but then I kind of like fell off of it. Tried to pick it back up, but I think like some of the Pokemon looked a little bit too like, I, I don't know if it's like alien-like and futuristic is how I would describe them, but like I was a little bit disappointed by them in some ways. So I kind of fell off of it for a bit. But I've heard like a lot of good things about like some of the new, um, some of the newer like games and stuff like that. I was playing Pokemon Go for a while, fell off of that as well. I think that was more so that I just got like weirdly into Candy Crush and I could not be stopped. It became a problem. I mean, it's still a problem. I'm still like weirdly into Candy Crush. Like it is, I should be over it by now, but I'm not, let's just say that. You cried during that one as well. Oh my gosh, I am so happy I'm not the only one. <laughs> Chat, you're all, you're all validating me here. Bacon, welcome on in. We are working on our farmland right now. So we have just finished up um our pathing and stuff like that we've got a good footprint for all of our other upcoming builds and now we are working on the interior over here i'm just trying to like kind of give purpose and function to some of these windmill areas especially because it'll be nice to be able to like go in here and actually use a furnace or like you know sleep if we need to oops i didn't mean to break that one i'm gonna put one more furnace down let me put away some of this wood though Uh, do I need like a blast furnace maybe? Or a smoker? Maybe one of those. How do you even craft those? I don't remember. 
I always forget how to craft those ones. Probably I'm assuming some iron or something for at least the blast furnace. I do have some iron hanging around. There we go. So we got that. Yeah. I feel like I've kind of, I honestly, I think this has a lot to do with like how much modding I've been doing in Minecraft lately where I've, I've struggled a little bit to like decorate my interiors and like learn new things. I need to, I need to get back on that. Cause I feel like I, I've since then been struggling a little bit cause there's, I've been focusing so much on modding, which has like couches and stuff like that, that now I'm like, oh, how do I make these things? But without mods, you know, hi Drift, first time catching your live. So happy to be here. Oh, Morgan, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uploaded four picks for you to see. There's many more, but this uh, this was enough. Just can't find my fave, which was a three-story tall tavern. Ooh, that sounds nice. I will definitely have to check those out. How did I get into content creating? Um, I got into content creating over uh, over the Rona uh, when we were all in lockdown. I kind of was like on a server with my friend and I had like streamed and stuff before but it was more so for fun. And me and my friend like had a server, a Minecraft server, and I really enjoyed it. And I was like, I kind of just like want to vibe and like, and just like keep doing this. So I, I don't know why I was like, my motivation will be just to like do it, but on YouTube and just like kind of have fun with it. So I started with long plays and, um, that just like really took off. And from there, I kind of went into like the let's plays and stuff, which is what I really wanted to do. And it just kind of like all kind of flowed from there. And I've I've had such a wonderful time doing it, honestly. But yeah, like I, it's so funny. I never really, I never knew what would happen. You know what I mean? I never knew what would come of it. And it's, it's just been like a really good time. Also, each lad, uh, welcome on in. I hope you're having a great day. So nice to see you. Sorry, I'm just catching up on chat. I'm going to check that Discord post real quickly too, Lisa. Is it in showcase? Let's see. Let's see. Oh my gosh. These are incredible. Oh, <gasps> these are so cool. The opera house is wild. I love that. These are so detailed. Honestly, I want to like be able to learn to build on like a much larger scale. That's definitely I think that's kind of one of my goals for this year for content creation is learn to build a little bit bigger. We've been working a lot on kind of like starting to do that in my um, stream world that we do on Twitch, but I definitely want to bring that over into like this world as well. Started watching Pokemon during the series, uh, black and white, and I thought it was the first one and only series. And when it ended, I got really sad. Oh no. Well, little did you know, Pokemon is like, I'm like, I'm almost shocked that Pokemon has been going on for this long. Honestly, it is kind of wild to me how long, like how much of an everlasting series it is. It's, it's wild. You know what? It's it's a good show though. Like it truly is. Oops, did not mean to do that. So if we've got that there, can I do that? I can. But that doesn't look right. Okay, I'm gonna leave that for now. I think that's okay. Oh no, I broke this one though. Boom. And then boom, boom. Yeah, I think that's cute. Then I'm gonna get rid of this because it kind of looks like it's floating. Get rid of this one. I wonder if, okay, we don't necessarily need a trap door here. I think we just need like, boom, boom. That's it, that's the one. That solved that. Cool. I think I can put that there. Okay, I like that. Absolutely love the stream so far. Thanks, Drift. Have to pop out, but looking forward to the next one. Oh, Celeste, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So happy you enjoyed it. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. 
I don't resonate with any anime anymore. Something in the way it's animated bothers my brain, except for Ghibli and Castlevania. Honestly, I get that. I feel like there's like different styles for everybody. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure there's like certain film styles and stuff that don't really resonate with me as much as they used to anymore. I think that's like, I think that's totally normal though. Like going through like, not like trends, but like things that you enjoy watching or even enjoy playing, right? I think that's like the same thing with video games. Yeah, blast furnaces need smooth stone, I believe. I don't mind having some smokers in here. Maybe we can do like a blast furnace on this wall or something. I could just wrap this around, you know? Something like that. But then this will be... That's a little bit of a tight space though. I think I'm gonna leave that. I'll do something on this wall though. Maybe right here we'll have like a little blast furnace corner. I think it's gotta be smooth stone for sure. Let's do like, I don't know, let's do seven. I should fight the warden? Oh my gosh. Warden is not meant to be fought. I stand by that. I stand by that. <laughs> warden is meant to be snuck around. To be fair, we have set off a, um, what are they called? The wither. We set off the wither next to the warden and that was actually really funny. I don't think I'll be doing that in this world too. I, um, I don't have the best armor. <laughs> are you full-time content creator? Yes, I am. I am. So I'm full-time on YouTube. I do uh, Twitch on Fridays and the rest is all YouTube. All YouTube. We brought our streams back here, which has been really nice. Really been enjoying that. And I would say that like my primary focus would definitely be uh, videos though. Definitely be the videos. It's kind of nice having like all of like these streams be able to complement the videos that we've been working on. Okay, let's get a blast furnace. One. We'll get a couple. I miss Minecraft. I haven't been able to come around in a while. Your streams got me into building. Oh, Cassidy, I love that. That makes me so happy. Yeah, I feel that falling like in and out of games and stuff like that. You'll always have the chance to come back to it for sure. There's like a, a couple games that I've been like missing lately, though, you know, I feel like Minecraft's definitely one of those games um, that is like very whatchamacallit. It's like a very winter game, if that makes sense. It's got like big winter vibes. A lot of my friends usually get back into it around this time and I love that. We usually like get a little server up and running and we just like build a ton of stuff together and then <laughs> it just like eventually we just stop. But like for those first few weeks, it's so fun to be able to do that like together. It's always such a treat. Usually around like the holiday season, I think we do that when we have like a little bit more time, a little bit more spare time on our hands. It's very nice. All right, I need some picture frames. More than welcome, welcome to talk anytime. We'll give you all the tips I have about big builds. The arena pick from was from 2015, if that tells you how long I've been playing. Oh, heck yeah, yeah, no, I definitely need some pointers with like scale. I think my biggest like thing is also like just being afraid to commit to it. I think what I need to do is like commit and creative first so I know I can do it. And then like the rest will follow after. Then I'll get comfortable in like survival. Okay, we need some sheep or some paintings that I'm gonna be doing. Thank you. Uh oh, let me out. Oh gosh, oh gosh, let me out, let me out. I'm panicking, there we go. Sometimes I think about uh, like stream or do some videos on Minecraft because I get kind of lonely because my friend doesn't play anything and my siblings are always busy, but I don't know how to do anything. Honestly, I totally feel that. That was like kind of my thing with um starting my channel. It was kind of like, I wanted to play and like be able to connect with people and it was like the best thing I ever did. Totally. Honestly, there's like a lot of like tutorials on how to use OBS and like learn how to do basic editing and stuff. And I would just like kind of take it slow with stuff like that and just learn. Maybe start off with like a let's play or whatever you're vibing with and use that video to like learn the programs and stuff is what a lot of like me and my friends did. Fighting Warden and chill survival. Yeah, I don't know if that goes hand in hand. That's such a good point. <laughs> so true. So true. Oh, jeez. 
That's a little bit too big of a painting. Oops. Um, what was I gonna say? What was I going to say? What's my streaming schedule? So on Mondays, we stream here at 12 p.m. Uh, EST. So we're on YouTube on Mondays and then on... Oops, that's not gonna work. And then on Fridays, we stream on Twitch at 12 p.m. So Mondays and Fridays. Just do like a little trim like this, I think. That's good. Nice, nice. All right, we need like a little... Do like a little shelf here as well. Got lots of trap doors. Something like that would be cute. And do like a little... Maybe some like campfire wood. For the blast furnaces, you know? That makes sense. Boom. Yeah, this is looking really cute. I like that. We're getting there, we're getting there. Now we just need like a little bit of... Like a pop of color here. And I think a painting will work. I've been like thinking about maybe very lightly modding some stuff just for like painting options and things like that like it would be nice to be able to place different types of paintings in this world you know what i mean that's like been my one thought i don't know i don't want to stray too far from vanilla but then at the same time i'm like it would be nice to be able to have different painting options there we go that's kind of cute nice let's put some of this oops no Oh, what the heck? I'm gonna have to repair my shovel very quickly, chat. I definitely need to get um some unbreaking on these bad boys, you know? I had to pick a Pokemon that fits you the most. It would be Laurentis. I want to. I want to look this up. Pokemon. Oh, that is so cool. What the heck? I like that. I like that a lot. I was thinking like I was kind of like ditto vibes, you know? Just like just like a little pink blob. That's how I would describe myself. Just just a just a little blob. You should get a texture pack that turns the warden into Shrek or Thanos. That's hilarious. Could you imagine? Like everything is so vanilla in this world, except like one day I'm like Hey guys, so on today's episode, we are going to go fight the warden and then we go do that and it's literally just Shrek. And I never, I never mention it. Like I never say, whoa, like that's weird. Haha, ha, isn't that funny? I just act as if it's completely normal. You'll be welcome on in. How you doing? I don't know why my sheep don't grow wool fast in Minecraft. I'm so tired. Can anybody help? Um, they have to eat grass. So sometimes if you don't have enough, like patches of grass around it like that's when they grow back their wool so it could be that so hungry don't want to make food i feel that i feel that honestly making food is just like <laughs> sometimes i'm like i just want the food i don't want to cook please it's the worst thank you for sharing your videos have a wonderful day and week oh infinite Aaron, thank you so much i appreciate it i hope you have a wonderful week as well Yo, this, this sparkling water that Big Tiny Duck made, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. In general, I find you to be one of the most relaxing people to vibe with and watch build. Your style is so relaxing and you're such a vibe drift. Oh, Cassidy, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I'm so happy you all are here, here for the chill vibes. It's so funny. There's like, I know there's been like so much discussion over like, I feel like the past year and a bit about how Minecraft like the meta at least has been very fast paced and like almost hard to watch in the in the sense that like so many things happen at once and it's just like constant like ha 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 but i feel like there's also like i don't know i feel like our community is like a testament to the fact that like not everything has to be like that like there's a lot of us who are just like vibing you know what i mean and like even though that might not be the meta i think we are like a very wide community and I, it just makes me so happy that we're all just here like relaxing, vibing, hanging out. And it, it definitely just shows me that like, for a while I was a little bit worried about that. I was like, oh no, what if like the meta is that and I need to like shift my style of content, but like, 
No, because we're like our community is like so strong and like we all know what type of content we like and it's just been so fun, you know? I don't know. I just I just think that it's proof that there is like a huge group of people who are like I'm just here to vibe. <laughs> it's it's awesome. I love it, you know? If you could paint in Minecraft, listen. If you could paint in Minecraft, you just you said something. It's funny that you brought that up. All I'm going to have to say is wait till Friday. That's all I'm going to say. Wait until Friday. Painting in Minecraft is possible. That's all I got to say. Cookie mods. Yo, cookie mods are so good. I haven't played around too much with um Farmer's Delight yet. I want to... My next episode of Castaways, I think I am. But I did a little bit when we did better Minecraft. And... Oh, it's so fun. So fun. I just like... I love like pixelated food too. I think it just like there's something about it that just really scratches an, an itch, you know? It's like very satisfying. What, who do you think you'll vote for in the mob vote? I think I'm gonna go with, I think I'm gonna probably go with the penguin. Penguin or armadillo? I like I like the, the fact that they're gonna kind of like bring some life to some, bring some love to some biomes that need it. Your eye keeps twitching. I hate that feeling, I hate it. And there's nothing you can like really do to stop it either. Think of your Pokemon, you're a Char- Charmin? Charm- 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 Pokemon. Shaman Pokemon. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's got like a little flower. It's like a hedgehog. It's like a mossy little hedgehog. I love that. I'm a mossy little hedgehog. Look at me. I, st I still stand by the fact that I'm ditto. I'm just like a little blob, you know? <laughs> I have to eat dinner now. See you later. No worries, Pixel. Enjoy your dinner. What is the meta? Kind of like the um, like the hardcore meta, like big, 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 uh, big giant builds, fast paced editing. You know what I mean? Did I accidentally spoil something? No, 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 you didn't. No, you didn't. You brought up something that's perfect and I, I can't wait to share it with you. You did not spoil a thing. Do not worry. All I've got to say is keep, keep your eyes peeled for some painting. Keep your eyes peeled. Iron Man, welcome on in. Red, how you doing? So nice to see ya. Also, chat, if you have not checked out Red's uh, new long play yet, Red is doing a fall long play. And Red, I'm very, very inspired by that. Very inspired by that. It is so, so cool. I've been I've been thinking about getting some more long plays in on this channel and you have absolutely inspired me, but please go check out Red's long play. It's a mini series that she's doing and it, it's a custom mod pack. Super chill vibes. Go check it out. Love watching Vanilla Plus or Advanced Minecraft Let's Play. I've never seen Vanilla Plus. See, I like, I do like the idea of having like mods, but like just a couple, just a couple. It's kind of what we tried to do with Castaways, like have some vanilla elements to it, but add in a couple mods that'll just like change it up a bit. Drift collectively chat is a direct reflection of you and your mods. If you put up uh, with the shenanigans, chat is a different place. Your community is so good because of uh, your mods. <laughs> As he OP. Oh, Lauren, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Like, honestly, like the community that we have built here in the past like year has just been so, so phenomenal. And don't forget, it's it's you guys too. It is absolutely you guys too. I, I'm so happy that this is just like a really nice welcoming place. We're getting We're getting real cheesy today. Look at the back of my head. Look at the back of my head. This this hair is nicer than I I always have the back of my head IRL is always like a tangled mess. You know, this is just like this is nice. This is some good hair. Front, I've got it looks like the wind hit me a little bit. Back of my head. I I keep that combed, baby. I keep that combed. Very combed. Not IRL though. I'm kind of a mess. All right, I think that's good enough for the shovel. I love how I was like, we're getting all cheesy and sentimental, and then I go on a rant about my hair. <laughs> uh, God. Way to kill the moment, Drift. I 
I don't love giant builds fast paced because I can't do that. So I mean, large cozy build is cool with me, but that's that's kind of how I'd be feeling. I, I you know, what? I do love watching them. and I love like I think they're fun to watch, but I think I vibe with like the like building up little worlds like this for sure. For sure. I would love to learn bigger builds, though. See, I think like having like giant like mega builds is a little bit different than having large scale builds. Cause like, I think a large scale build could look so good in here if it's done right. I just need to learn how to do it. Like a big castle, you know what I mean? I would love to have a big castle somewhere in this build, but I'm just like, I don't even know where to begin with that, you know? Or a bigger storage hall, stuff like that. But I think, I think there's definitely like balance for sure. Daniel, welcome on in, how are you doing? The long plays have been super cozy. You should definitely do more if you're uh, wanting to. Your long plays actually inspired me to uh, start the long play series. Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, I'm so glad you're enjoying them too. They're very, very fun to do. So fun. Okay, I'm gonna make some carpet. What color carpet in here? What are we vibing with? What are we vibing with in here? I feel like, do we have cocoa beans? I think we do. I'm pretty sure I've gotten some from the jungle. I'm either thinking like brown or maybe just some like classic red, you know, maybe red, red and white. Got an idea, uh, make my Iron Man suit, then post it on the channel. Oh, heck yeah, I'd love to see that. Definitely post it in the Discord. Follow you not long ago, love your videos and your lives. This is the first one real time. Keep that good work. Oh, Dark Lord, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Hope you're having a wonderful day. The back of your head looks like bread. You know what? It kind of does look like sliced bread. It looks like, you know, when you slice bread at a grocery store in the bread slicer and you're like, oh, give me a uh, seven thickness. It does. <laughs> it really does look like bread. <laughs> bread hair, bread hair. Drift has bread hair. No, I don't. Stop it. Stop making fun of me. <laughs> oh, God. It reminds you of like my my sibling making fun of me when i was little <laughs> oh maybe we can do some moss carpet too i never use that enough moss carpet and then like red carpet would be very cool i don't have i don't have bread hair stop it <laughs> classic classic bread hair am i right am i right Minecraft hair is always at its peak. Red, you have great Minecraft hair, I must say. What's your routine? Drop the routine. I love your videos. I want to ask if I had missed, uh, missed something because I just got in. So we have literally just been vibing and working on some pathing today. Honestly, haven't missed too much. We've just been totally, totally chilling. We have finished up the pathing along here, which um, once we build some builds around here is going to look way different, but at least we have it looking a little bit cleaner while we walk around the paths. And now we're just like kind of building uh, some interiors along here as well. Cozy countryside old castle is kind of a vibe, right? That's what I'm saying. If we did a castle, I'm like, where is a good spot for a castle in this world? Hold on, let me place this carpet first and then we're pretty much done with this build, which is actually looking very cute, by the way. I'm very happy with how this build has turned out. Yeah, I like this. This is like literally just, it's cute. It's cozy. It's got stuff that we need in here. I would maybe like to do some other stuff in some of these, but I want to see. Okay. So our plans for this world, I would say like for the next while, I'd like to focus on some stuff around here. This is where I envision like a sheep farm. Um, probably what else do we have? We have sheep that we need to worry about and probably the pigs. So sheep farm around here, maybe like a pig pen somewhere as well. There's tons of space here. If we do a storage barn, I would say it would probably fall within this area as well, just because it's such a large and open space. So this lends well to like bigger barn builds. So this area is going to be out of the question farmland, basically. Over here, I was kind of picturing maybe another villager house or two. Have like a nice little winding path. We can have like a house that has a couple more dudes, especially if I don't think we're going to be done this world for a while. 
I actually thought this world was going to be a lot more short term than it's turned out to be. So I'm kind of thinking like, I don't know. We're going to have to start focusing on getting the villagers before the update because I heard that it can be a little bit of a pain. So we're going to need some of those dudes. Probably a couple houses in here with some more villagers. I think that would also kind of complete the village look that we have going on in here. Some sort of farm. We could do a melon farm here. And then, oh, I wanted to show you all. I wanted to show you all where I thought we could put the, uh, the greenhouse bee farm that I'm going to be doing. Let's go over here somewhere. I've always, for some re reason, pictured all along <clears throat> that the bee house, like the greenhouse would go up in here. Surrounded by the flower forest. You know what I mean? I feel like this is just the perfect spot. If we clean this up a little bit, have it close to our starter home, just like a nice little path through here and then the greenhouse up in here. There's a lot of stuff we can do in here, especially to kind of like fill in the space around this area to get some more life throughout. But I think this is more like kind of like a magical space. Greenhouse fits the vibe perfectly, of course. And then some maybe some other like magical magical things, you know? I would love to do like a potion hut at some point. That would probably look good in there. How do you free cam? It is a mod. It's a mod that I use. I think it's literally just called free cam. It's amazing though. You just like hit F4. Hold on, before we go for a little tour of this base, I'm gonna grab some slabbies so I can fix up some of the paths. I could see a large crooked tower that was an enchanting setup or a large armory that could be a blacksmith. Yes, that could be really cool too. I would love to have a blacksmith of some sort. Okay, actually, we're gonna be going, let's go back here really quickly. So farmland over there, I feel like blacksmith, honestly, a blacksmith could look really cool up in there, eh? I like to have larger builds to cover up redstone farms. Me too. I love covering up redstone farms. I feel like that's one of my favorite things to do in Minecraft is like find ways to like make, make redstone look good. Yeah, water wheel would actually look really cool. That's got to be on like a river of some sort, right? So over here, we have so much space. Basically, what I kind of pictured was like, I could either like slope this all off a bunch and make this into farmland that slopes down, or I could build a really cool retaining wall right here, which is what I think I want to do. I want to build a retaining wall and then start expanding out. <coughs> ah. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my voice. Start expanding out here. Now I'm like, I feel as though this spot could kind of be like a cool castle spot, but I'm like, does a castle need to be more on top of a hill than anything? You know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like this could be a cool castle spot or more like a village with an armory. Not sure. Not too sure yet. These are all like very, very distant pl uh, plans though, because we still have like so much other stuff to do. But I've always kind of imagined building a retaining wall back there. And I, I ideally love to fill out this space before we move on to like the back end, because like right now I love how this looks like, oh, wow, with like the barn in the distance and stuff. Once you have more builds pop up around here, it's just going to look so good. Jeff got to get a good deep uh, conditioner to get that silky Minecraft hair to stay at its peak. Let that sit for a good 10 minutes. That should take care of any bread head. <laughs> I mean, bed head. <laughs> okay, so, okay, got it, got it. So I've got to, I've got to get, do you think I should like scrunch it? I should get some product and really give it a good scrunch, right? Give it a good scrunch so I no longer get this like bread head. Because right now it's very, it's very bready. I think I've got to get a little bit more volume up in here, you know? Got to get some more volume. I think that's a problem. It's really flattened out. Thank you for the tips, Red. I appreciate it. <laughs> I think a little bit further from the villagey area, but in the trees for the castle. Okay, so wait, like in the... Um... So villager area... I feel like, oh man, this is a really steep hill though. I feel like that's too much for a uh, a castle. Maybe up in here. This area, okay, you know what? 
What if we did like a castle up in this area? Because you've already got the height and stuff of the windmills and then a castle up over here because then it would be off in the distance. Like if you peek back towards here, you'd see the castle off in the distance. It wouldn't be too overwhelming, but once you get close to it, it would look incredible as well. Like when I picture like the castle, I picture it to kind of like be kind of like off away from the starter base so it doesn't overwhelm everything else. That's kind of my thought. Drift builds nice paths for aesthetics. Also drift goes through the woods besides the path. Always, always do that. <laughs> it's it's all I ever do. I don't know why. I can't help it. Uh, I'm thinking of building a fantasy blacksmith house with a super smelter below. Super smelter is a great idea. I need to do that. I like the making of redstone builds, but covering up part can be even better fun. Yes, agreed. Agreed. Crooked Tower for the Potion House would be cool, too. I like that idea. I definitely picture something, like, very whimsical. A blossom tree with a tower next to it. Ooh, kind of like a cherry blossom tree? That would be super cute. I need to learn how to make custom trees, too. Thoreau has tried to teach me before, and he does a great job of explaining, but my execution, it needs work. I, I need to learn how to build, like, custom trees better. I'm playing in better Minecraft looking for ancient debris and came across a nether forest mine with a ghost miner. Then I died. Didn't know the nether had mines. Maybe a better Minecraft thing. Yeah, that's definitely got to be better Minecraft for sure. That game is like that game mode is brutal. It's very fun, but it's also very scary. How's it going with the sniffers? Do you all want to see what the sniffers are up to? Let's see. How much sugar cane do I have? Whoa! I'm rich, baby. Look at that. Well, I guess I'm going to need like an elytra or something. Wow. Oh, yeah, I needed slabbies. I'm so sorry, chat. We got very distracted. I need some slabs first and then we'll go. Um, I'm trying to fix up some of the paths still by getting like little steps in. Have you seen Ethos Lab? I like his uh, man cave base. Looks really cozy. I actually haven't seen that. I've watched. I have definitely watched Etho before. But I have not seen his uh, man cave. You gotta scrunch it after those 10 minutes. Maybe get some good volume style moose for that extra oomph. Okay, that's the problem. That's the problem. See, the wind really sweeps my hair in the front than, than in the back. It's because I'm always sitting, you know? Whoa, look at the inside of my head. That's wild. <laughs> Infinite drift. Oh, there I am. I'm getting so distracted today. I'm sorry, chat. I'm just having fun. I'm just having some fun. Okay, let's get some more slabbies and then let's get some stairs too. It's always nice to have a couple stairs, you know? Not me wanting the castle on the, oh, on the, the cliff. Honestly, it would be cool, but I feel like I'm too much of a baby to commit to that, you know? I don't know what else would lend itself well to this. I was kind of thinking like a quarry type thing where you have like a giant crane coming down. I feel like it would really look really cool if you had like a mining outpost here as well, especially because we have one here. So then to have one behind would be really neat. Can you show you go into fly mode? It's just I go F4. It's just a mod that I use, um, a free cam mod. Are you trying to work out what type of bread drift is? I think I'm I think I'm just like a classic wonder bread, to be honest. I've I've gotta say, I think I I think I'm a classic. I think I'm the, the grocery store staple. I would love to be a sourdough, but I don't think I am, you know? I don't think I'm sourdough energy. Unfortunately, you know? Unfortunately. Let's get a couple steps like this, maybe. There we go. Also, chat, I keep forgetting to um, mention it today, but if you all are enjoying the stream and you want to leave a like, it really, really helps out the reach on YouTube. And I 
Really, really appreciate it. Oops, forgot to put... There we go. That's what I needed. Heck yeah. There we go. I need to fix this area going up into the portal, to be honest. It's been looking real sad. Real sad lately. Coming up on two hour break time. Oh my God, you're so right, Azzy. We gotta take a break in a quick little moment. When do you stream on YouTube? Every Monday. And if, unless otherwise stated, I'll always let you guys know if uh, there's a change in schedule, but we are aiming for every single Monday at 12 p.m. EST on YouTube. And then on Twitch, we're here on Fridays. Yeah, we need like a witch's house for sure. Absolutely. Okay, I think I need to like expand this out a little bit. Something like that. trying to fix up some of the pathing along here too because it's something I meant to do but just never got around to and the area around the portal definitely needs a little bit of love it's been a while really want you to do a big tree but it's a tree house you know what I will I promise I will learn to do one eventually for sure it's it's definitely on my list to learn builds like that absolutely it is absolutely on my list chat I always see like really cool treehouse builds and stuff and I'm like always in awe of them because I think they look so cool. I'm just like really bad at doing stuff like that. But if I'm bad, that means it's a learning opportunity to get better, you know? Absolutely is. Just posted my llama village on showcase uh, with the name of the llamas. Oh my God, yes, I need to see. Do you have like the carpets on all the llamas and stuff? Oh, cute. Oh, I love the mangrove and spruce roofs. That's so cute. This world is kind of missing some llamas. Honestly, I, I'm a little bit too, too quick with my sword when the wandering trader comes around. I think I need to relax a little bit, you know? Just a little bit though. Do I have Snapchat? No, I do not. I do not. I had it a long, long time ago and then just kind of fell off of it um, over the years. There we go. You know, you could build a bridge in between the cave and the mountain. That would be great. Okay, so my plan, that's a great idea too, actually, like a suspension bridge. I definitely want to build one across here too. So I laid out a path. Eventually I'd love a, uh, a bridge here, but one across here would be pretty cool bunch of like suspension bridges with like glow berries and stuff what are your go-to builds in cold biomes i love like a good like um what are they called a-frame cabin i've always loved building those i think they are so cool i do like also like doing a classic like spruce cabin as well of some sort but i would say the a-frame cabin is definitely the way to go Definitely have too much PSL in you to be sourdough. I agree. I've got to agree with that statement, honestly. So true. <laughs> I'm, I'm just Wonder Bread. All right, I think that's perfect. Chat, should we take a quick little break and then we'll come back to all of this? I'm going to go AFK at the Skelly XP farm. Just get a little bit more XP into our um, shovel and tools. So let's take a quick break while we do that and we will go stretch our legs, grab a snack if you need to, and we'll be gone for a couple moments. Let me just run over here quickly first though. Replant this flower. Let's go. Swag. Okay, let's go down here. We'll make use of this little break in game as well. And then we'll get back to doing some terraforming and stuff. All right, BRB chat, go get a little snack and stuff, and we will be back soon.
Hello. <laughs> I'm back. All right, what needs repair? I think this one does. We're gonna have to get some mending on that as well. My sword has seen better days too. Should we try to get like a better enchant on a sword? I feel like that would be very beneficial. I had a couple of Cheetos as a little snack. What's everybody's preference? Flamin' Hot Cheetos or Jalapeno Cheetos? The random skeleton noises in the background are so hilarious. I love leaving that like those noises in. It's like the spider farm meme that we have. Cause there was one time I beer beat at our spider spawner and it was just like spiders, <laughs> like hundreds of spider noises. It's so funny. <laughs> Sound of dead creatures getting killed is so just so peaceful. So, so peaceful. All right, there's still a couple, quite a few things that we need to do here, chat. Um, I've got most of the paths done. I would like to torch, properly torch our base up a little bit. Um, can mobs, mobs can't spawn in fields, right? They can't spawn in field, like, um, wheat fields and stuff is what I'm assuming. I do need to torch like some areas though, cause I find that this base is notoriously bad like when i am recording i'm not gonna lie like there's often i usually do show some of it creepers exploding but like sometimes there's so many that i'm like this isn't <laughs> there's no point in even showing this in my video like i do have a lot of creepers and like zombies and stuff around the base and i don't really torch this area up enough so that's something we should work on um i'm gonna seize oh gosh no i'm not yes i am nope yep it's gone. Okay. Okay. That was interesting. Oh my gosh. Welcome back. Thank you, Azzy. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you all had a good break. If you build a castle, don't flatten the land, but use uh using contours of the land it'll look better. Yes, that is great advice, honestly. I feel like sometimes I'm just like keen on flattening land but like really that's the last thing that you should be doing like build it into the land obviously there's some things that you'll have to flatten out but like not everything i think that's like the biggest takeaway for sure okay shroud how's it going hope you're having a wonderful vacation I need to fill this in. What is this? What is this? Why did I leave that there? Classic, classic drift, leaving a mess. An actual mess around my base. Uh-oh. Got some rain. I'm gonna cover this up too, actually. Just doing some good old base maintenance. Good old certified base maintenance. You know what? That's probably a creeper hole. I bet you anybody. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Perfect. Definitely don't want kidneys shutting down. Never a good time. Ask me how I know. Oh my gosh, Azzy, that is terrifying. That is actually so, so scary. Been keeping the chat busy. Let's go. Let's go. How long is this live? Because I need to go to sleep. Um, we're gonna be live probably for at least I would say like another like 40-ish minutes. Um, but the best news is the VOD, if you gotta go to bed, the VOD will always be there for you after if you need it. That's that is the beauty about these uh these streams is that we can uh have the VODs up after. So don't you worry if you've gotta if you've gotta go to bed. Frog lights are nice. Uh, they're so hard to get. It's not worth it. That's kind of how I feel. You know what? We eventually did it in my other world and it is very rewarding, but it was literally such a pain to get them. Such a pain. Having an awesome vacation already. Think you have extended it another few days. If you can, you absolutely should. Absolutely should. 
I'm so glad you're having a great time. I'm very, very excited for you. I was really happy when you said that you're inspired by Netherlands because it's my country. Oh, heck yeah. That makes me so happy. Yeah, that's that is the first thing I thought of when I like thought of windmills. I was like, yes, I would love to go to the Netherlands uh, one day. It's definitely on my list. Big tiny duck has been. I have not, though. Oh, sorry. Let me just have a little sippies. Just had to sip some of my sparkling water. It's so good. So good. Rex, what's going on? Welcome in. How you doing? All right, we're getting some good light in here. Much needed, honestly. Yeah, I need to get like, I should probably put up some like lamp posts and stuff too eventually. No worries, Daniel. I hope you have a great night. Thank you so much for hanging out though. I appreciate it. Sarah, welcome on in. How you doing? Magma slimes are a pain. Yeah, the magma are such a pain. I I really do love the frog lights, but it's definitely one of those things where I'm like, that is not on my list right now because it's just so annoying. So annoying. Oh, let's go. I hate having torches spammed everywhere, but at this point, I think it's kind of necessary. It is a little bit necessary. How are you? I am doing great. How are you doing? Just vibing today. We are working on some like just good old base maintenance. And you know what? We've gotten quite a bit done today. I'm very happy. I want to fix my sword next too. Back after eating a taco salad for lunch. Let's go. That sounds delish. I haven't had one of those in like forever. Like burrito bowls. I used to eat those all the time. Ah, I fell. really cool in the Netherlands though but it's already dark outside yeah it's getting starting to get real dark around here too it's kind of it's kind of gloomy and stuff I I kind of like the gloomy weather I'm not gonna lie I do, I am usually a fan of the gloomy weather but um I'm not used to the sun starting to set so early honestly and it suddenly got very very cold here but I'm, I'm here for it it was too hot the other day we were having like some summer weather into like the first week of October and I was like, you know what? This is just like not comfortable. It's full on fall now though. And I love it. I love fall. Doesn't last long enough though. I was at an adult beverage with breakfast and didn't realize it. Thought it was a smoothie. It's just a fancy smoothie. Yeah, it's, it's a smoothie. It's just a smoothie with just... Just some, just some extra stuff, extra goodies. <laughs> Sounds like you are living right now though. Absolutely living. Wither skeleton farm, honestly, I don't know. That's something that I think we might do in like our, um, our long-term stream world, if anything. That's something I would consider learning over there. I don't think I've really had a need for one yet though. That's a thing. I would like to learn to build a gold farm eventually because I know those can be pretty useful. Work is dead, so I joined the stream. Hi, Drift and Chat. Oh, Kitty, welcome on in. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for stopping in. My Barnes and Noble cashier said swag to me the other day and it made me think of you. That is actually hilarious. Is swag coming back? Are, are we bringing it back, chat? Are we bringing... Maybe maybe your cashier was a fellow infinite drift enjoyer. <laughs> it can't be me. I, I don't think I have that much influence upon the world to bring the word swag back. <laughs> oh, God. When are you going to be going back to the nether? Reason for asking is the shroom lights. Those are great lampposts that can be on paths in other areas. You know what? That's a good point. I'm like, do we just go to the nether? Do we just bite the bullet, chat? 
instead of leaving these torches everywhere. I feel like that would be a good option for sure. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do though. I am gonna grab some of these dudes and then some of these ones. And we will do a couple lights along the path because we are missing those, just like a couple lampposts. Um, my iron, I need to make a little bit more iron as well. Do I have any more coal? I think I do. So we're almost done lighting all of this stuff up. Then we need to fix the sword. And you know what? If we gotta go into the nether, we can do that too. Your laugh is so cute. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, let's get some sweet, sweet light. Only six, my god. Don't tell me I'm gonna need an iron farm soon. There's too many things that I need. You do that too with the moss carpet? Yeah, the moss carpet with like the shroom lights is always, it always looks so good. Maybe we'll do that instead then. Let's get some lights first. So, like this. Just like that. Oh. Oh, dang it. I forgot. I forgot some slabbies there. Sad. Very sad. Country has a nosedive in seasons where the summer then winter falls like half the month with leaves and stuff. Yeah, I swear the like the the changing leaves last like I swear like a week at most. And it makes me so sad because I'm like, I love the fall weather. Like I I could honestly be so happy with it lasting for so much longer. It just feels like it's gone way too soon. Try to soak it all in. Oh gosh. The night is turning. <laughs> the hee 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 is when I'm up to no good. <laughs> yeah, that is like my up to no good laugh. You're so right. You're so right. Y'all know me like way too well. Way too well. <gasps> Stinky Ruth. Hi. Have I not name tagged you yet? You are Ruth. I just don't think I've name tagged you. Azzy, that is so scary. I'm so glad you're like healthy and okay now because that is like actually very, very scary. I'm happy you were able to like catch that though. And you're all good. Oh. We got some lanterns. I love lamp. There we go. Couple more lamp and we good to go. Jamal, homie, what's going on? It's so nice to see ya. How you doing? How you been? Thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate it. Don't forget dirt and uh, spare blocks for the nether. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I just got a couple more uh, posts to put up here and then we're pretty much good. I have a couple slabbies I need to do too. And then sword upgrade, then the nether. That's the one, Lauren. <laughs> My hair really does look like bread. That is a revelation that we've had today and I'm kind of into it i wish you could wax log to preserve the bark i always accidentally strip my logs when i run with an axe oh my gosh i do that all the time too it's so funny <laughs> i wish you could like reverse it you know what i mean really wish you could b why do i believe you're like the embodiment of this statement when i'm good i'm very good and when i'm bad i am better you know what i kind of i kind of dig that I kind of dig that. You know, I don't know if when I'm bad, I am better speaks true, but I'd like to believe. I'd like to believe that is the truth. <laughs> there we go. We are making progress today, chat. All of these little details, like, honestly, it's so nice to be able to, like, be able to do these on stream with you all because this is stuff that I would be doing by myself after my video you know what i mean so it's nice to be able to like hang out with you all while i kind of like putter away and just chat and vibe it's been a hecking good time today i'm that person that wants to move to a place uh where there are no seasons hidden meaning for this trip i'm on <gasps> shroud are you scoping out a new place to live is that the vibe 
Is that the vibe? See, I'm a seasons gal. I mean, I guess maybe... I don't know, actually. I have a lot of friends who grew up in Canada, too, who hate the season. So I think it is dependent on person. But for me, like, I love... I love the cold weather. I thrive in it. Summer's, like, not... Like, so much not my jam. I'm usually miserable in the summers. When everybody else is, like, out doing stuff, I'm like, no! And I stay home. <laughs> It's so bad. So bad. Every summer I tell myself, I'm going to go outside and enjoy the city more. And then I just never do because I'm just miserable. It's awful. Actually awful. What do I got in here? That was a bunch of rent. Why do I have an axe in here? What did I use that for? What's going on here? Okay, I'm going to have to... I think I have to disenchant this. Sharpness three. Should I make a new sword and see what I can get? I feel like I should make a new sword and then see what we get and then maybe combine. Yeah, let's do that first. Let's do that and then let's also do mending. I need some mending books. Hope stream has been well. Oh, thanks, Jamal. I hope, uh, hope everything's been good with you. Hope you've been doing well. Stream's been a heckin' vibe today. Got, um... It's kind of like a long weekend here still, so I'm still just like vibing today and we're having so much fun. We're just like building up uh, paths and stuff along our base and it's been su super good. Skel Skeldridge, you'd be amazed. It's my favorite Pokemon. Skeldridge. Oh, he's like an alligator with fire. An alligator on fire, that's kind of a vibe. Honestly, kind of a vibe. I dig it, you know? Okay, how much is your mending book? Oh my god. Bruh. Okay, I'm gonna have to... Killing me, Smalls. You're killing me! I have to trade some sticks with Stick Boy first. Alright, Stick Boy. What? I still can't trade with you? Why? Why are you so angry with me? Get here, get... This is where you're supposed to be. He's gonna jump over again. I don't know how you keep escaping. I even put like a childproof lock thingy, you know, like a child gate. And he's still just not. I'm so over it. So over it. I'm all about the season changes. Falls when I thrive. Red, same, same. I, you know what? I knew it because I knew you were a fellow pumpkin spice lover. And I was like, red knows what's up. Red knows what's up. It's just like the the weather change, like the crispy air, you know, like I just hate humidity. I love, give me that crispy, crispy fall air. Let me thrive, okay? And winter, you know what? I like to cozy up. Spring and fall. You know what? Spring, I would say the only reason spring loses points is because everything is so like sludgy in Canada because that's when everything's like thawing and it's just like there's just sludge everywhere and it's like kind of nasty but I I do still like spring because it's just like it's like a, a little bit of a little hopeful after like such a, a brutal brutal winter I literally don't have any sticks I'm gonna cut whatever this is down that is a sad excuse of a tree That enjoy summer voice is giving mayor of one shot. <laughs> mayor. No, no, it's not. No, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm dead. Classic. All right, I'm breaking three. Whoa! Oh my god. Well, forget this sword. This sword can go in the garbage over here. We got ourselves a good one. What the heck? Heck yeah, let's go. Oh, I have fire aspect too, which means I can just like get cooked steak when I kill the cows now. Oh, this is great. This is just, this is ideal chat. This is very ideal. Okay, I'm gonna, I need to get a mending book on this though. I actually really like this sword. Gotta name it though. We gotta name this bad boy. I'm a person who just wants constant rain and fog with the smell of dirt and wet grass, pine trees optional. Yo, potato. I get it. I get it. I totally get that. I become a hermit when it's winter. It's so funny how like, I don't know. It's just like funny how we're all so different where it's like, for me, like I hermit 
from the heat. It's so it's so interesting. I for some reason I'm more inclined to go out when it's colder. Swag. <laughs> Obviously, I was gonna name it that. Obviously. Sneeko, welcome back. Hope the studying went well. Also, MZAM, welcome on in. Your phone has to be turned off now. Have a good stream and see y'all whenever I decide to come back. No worries, Shroud. I hope you have a good one. So happy you're having a great vacation so far. Are you going to get armor trims for your armor and make god armor and tools? I will make some... I don't know if I'll call it god armor, but we are definitely going to upgrade our armor and tools for sure. And I would love to get some trims for sure. Uh, what was the one thing I needed? Oh, yes. I need... Well, I can't trade sticks because this guy apparently hates me. So I'm going to have to trade some of the sugar cane. Like, I'm going to have to turn it into paper. And then we are going to have to get that for emeralds, I guess. No insects when it when it's cold. You know what? Valid. Big. That's a big selling point on the winter for me. Spring loses points for me because it's allergy season. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I weirdly get allergies end of August. Drives me nuts. That's a sick sword, right? It's a pretty good one. I think we got pretty lucky here. Let's get ourselves a little bit of paper. Boom. Boom. And let's trade. All right, there we go. Six emeralds. Ten. How many do we need? What? You're giving me an emerald off? That's it? 27? Man, maybe I should have cured these dudes. That's brutal. Okay, I will be right back. Hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you? I just need one book. Okay. I'm, I, I'll be back. I need more paper, sir. Sorry. Hold on a second. Just a little bit more. <clears throat> Absolutely stoked to uh, finally catch a stream. Your build skills are phenomenal. Oh, thank you so much, Brick. I really appreciate that. And thank you for popping in. So happy to have you here. We are uh, we are doing some maintenance today and absolutely vibing. Having such a great time today. Also, welcome back, Reese. I never get more than two enchantments from the enchanting table. Jealous? No, I feel that. I feel like I'm in the same boat where it's like... I'll get like unbreaking three and then like for fortune on like a shovel. And I'm like, when do I ever need fortune on a shovel? What is this? You know, I feel the exact same way. I got very, very lucky there. Okay. It's paper time. I should really just be doing this because I have so much. I need to trade glass with some of them. Glass is a pretty good trade too, right? I forget who trades glass, though. Oh my gosh, we're so close. No, sir, don't do this to me. Oh, so rude. Okay. Now I'm gonna have to, like, make some books. I don't know if Stickman wants to trade with me yet. Do you think he's, like, over being mad at me? I don't know why he's, like, kind of pissed. Probably because I keep... Oh, I can trade sticks with him again. Excellent. Maybe he needs to just, like, have a little sleep, you know? Has a day left? Maybe, uh... He can't get to his job site block. <gasps> that that was it. That was it, Azzy. You're so right. Because the job site block is right here and he probably couldn't get to it. Brilliant. Thank you. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. So it was my <laughs> it was my fault. Okay, I just need a couple more sticks. Just, just a couple more sticks. Uh oh, look at that. Past infinite drift was nice to future infinite drift. You know what I mean? Like, that was very nice of me to leave all those sticks there. I was so prepared, apparently. I like cloudy weather with early, er, earthy mud smell. Yes, me too. It's a little bit rainy here today. And you know, I was like totally vibing with it. Totally vibing with it. Okay, let's take these books. Gimme mending. Thank you. And now I am broke again because what the heck? What the heck? Finish work, Moon! Heck yeah! Hope it all went well. Hope it all went well. Oh. 
There we go. Swag. Yes! Look at that. That is a good sword. That's pretty good. I'm like quite pleased about that, you know? How's Ruth doing with her allergies? Okay, I think they actually have gotten better. We haven't noticed any more like little scabbies pop up. It's just like my biggest thing is like it's such a mystery as to what's been causing that that like i'm a little bit i'm still upset that i don't know but she's i think she's doing a lot better because i had i they were like a couple cropped up on like her face and stuff but i haven't really noticed any in my new world i got fortune three on my diamond pick with unbreaking and efficiency best thing ever oh so lucky what the oh my gosh she climbed the ladder He's stuck up there forever now. That is so funny. What the heck? Do you think he'll come down for it? He won't even. He can't even see it. He's too high up. Oh my god. Oh my god, don't. Don't. That's hilarious. Oh, it's a cartographer. Okay. Okay. I need to uh I need to get a cartographer. We need a lot of villagers in here. Can't wait for winter in Asia here. It hurts my lips sometimes, but it's perfect for going out and jogging. Honestly, yeah, jogging in summer? No thanks. Jogging in cold weather? Yes. Your body's all like like warm from jogging, but it doesn't matter because you got that like cold air to keep you from like feeling like you're gonna pass out. It's just fantastic. Look at this. I don't have to cook my beef ever again. Look at that. Just right away. Boom. It would be nice if we had looting on this, but you know what? I'll take this sword. This is pretty fantastic. I don't really use sweeping edge that much either, but it's fine. I'm very happy about this. Chat, this this has been a great, great day for infinite drift. Absolutely a great day. 64 my state, uh, which is 17 celsius and i'm thriving my state never has a good summer to fall transition because it's like we need immediately go to winter but this is perfect yeah that is perfect weather ours dropped to 12 celsius which i would say is like perfect weather for us here because it ours is usually like that where it's like kind of warm and then it drops to like negative five and you're like huh why do i have to wear a winter coat all of a sudden but we are absolutely vibing right now absolutely vibing what we say we were gonna do? Oh yeah, go to the nether. I think I should be okay. I think so. No, you could turn your connect grass to fancy? Wait, what, what do you mean by connect grass to fancy? The cafe I'm, I forgot to give me a part of my order. I'm just standing in line waiting to ask for the missing item. Oh, I hate doing that. I always feel so awkward and I feel bad. Oh yeah, should I wear some gold? Should I be wearing some gold to the nether? Is that a thing? Probably. Probably. Welcome back, Rex. Do they have allergy tests for cats? I think they do. I think our, um, our vet basically told us to just like monitor, like, monitor her and if she's like scratching a lot which she hasn't really been and if she is literally like losing hair then to bring her back and i i would assume they were gonna run tests but so far so good and her like energy levels are still really good that's what i was worried about but she seems she seems okay now i like all weather if i'm appropriately dressed i just don't like being in the rain uh but if i'm inside or in the car yeah being in the rain can be a little bit like being in it and especially if it's cold rain it can be annoying but i'm just like i'm gonna snuggle up for a movie night and i love it okay shroom lights oh yeah we need to bring oh my god we need to bring scaffolding blocks chat i'm sorry uh-oh i'm gonna go get like a ton of dirt blocks might find a looting book and a treasure chest that's true actually that is very true haven't done some like buried treasure or sorry shipwrecks in a while. Spider cow. He wants to live. Yeah, he knows what happens after feeding time. He's been there too many times. He escaped and now he's like pretending to ignore me in the rafters. Classic. Oh yeah, you know what? My diamond hoe is like almost done. Oh. 
I don't have enough for a mending book though. That price is like outrageous right now. I'm a little bit peeved at it, but I'm like, I'm the one who said it though. I got, I was like, it'll be fine. Uh. You have to look swag, go into your local convenience store in a hoodie. That's what I'm saying. Like fall fashion is where it's at. You get to wear like a nice little hoodie, pants. You know what I mean? It's just like, how could you not? How could you not want that? I feel like this should be good. Mm. Okay, I think that's good. What does changing my connected grass to fancy do, though? It's been 30 degrees Celsius in my city for the past week. We're finally down to 17, my happy place. Yeah, 17, 17 is a good, not too hot, not too cold, you know, just comfortable. That other portal looks so cool. I love the usage of mud bricks. Heck yeah, thank you. I'm actually really happy with that build. I'm almost like sad that I used it on my nether portal because I never go there. I'm like, oh, dang, what a waste of a build <laughs> in a way. But like, I'm still happy with it. I think it looks super cute. And I never decorate my nether portal, so I'm happy I actually did something with it, you know? We got gold. We got gold. No worries. Fall fashion because I can layer and wear sweatshirts. Exactly. Exactly. We all know the vibe here. We all know the vibe. I've actually only been like a couple places in this uh, nether. Like, I think I have I have not traveled far at all. I couldn't even tell you how far I've traveled. I don't want to break the diamond hoe, but it might end up getting broken through all of this. Oh God so much quicker though I end up having to make a new one honestly oh wait this is the place where all the pigs are right gotta be careful oh yeah I am definitely avoiding definitely it's turned so sad you don't know what you did wrong. Yeah, I'll have to try mine later. I didn't know it actually changed something. I thought I had my stuff set to fancy though. Not sure. I'll have to check it out later. Certainly not doing that while I'm here though. <laughs> you know what? Oh god. All of these noises are terrifying. We do need some of this crimson wood. I would like to build with it. Definitely would like to build with it. It's definitely like um, a wood that I have not, I underutilize it, I would say. And I've seen like Brooke use, use it in some of her builds and it looks like fantastic. And I'm just like, yes, I need to start doing that. Ooh, lots of here. Don't mind if I do. Boom, there we go. Do warped trees like just like despawn once you get rid of like the shroom lights and all of that stuff? Or do they like stay up forever? Oh, oh, okay. They're not mad at me. They're not mad at me. Here, a gas. This would be perfect time for a gas to sound redeem. I know. So sad, right? So sad that we don't have that option. I don't even know if we can hook it up here, to be honest. I, I do have to look into it still. But I don't know if sound alerts are available for the YouTubes yet. They're always so funny though. Y'all are like too good at tricking me with those. Like way too good at it. It's like a, it's like an art at this point, I would say. Specifically you, Moon. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Oh God, okay. Um, I'm just gonna pillar up. I prefer to, uh, Twitch streams feels more interactive, not with the streamer, but with other people in chat, but I love Drift, so I go wherever. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, there's definitely, like, some features and stuff that really make it, like, extra special, you know what I mean? Like, I totally, I totally get that. 
totally get that. I'm a big fan. My own uh, YouTube app had some trouble. I found you were live. Now I'm here on my sister's phone. Oh, Tina, welcome on in. Thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day. Oh, no. Okay, my portal's over there. Okay, we're good. How many do I have so far? 24. That's not bad. I'd like to get quite a few more, though. They don't despawn. Okay. Winter last year was brutal, near or below freezing. Sometimes when I took my dog out, I would find all my sweatpants and sweaters are in the wash, so I'd have to bear the cold in shorts. Oh my gosh, that is the worst feeling. I hate when you have to like run outside to like, I don't know, like your car or something and you're in shorts and you're absolutely just like in so much pain. <gasps> what? He like dropped down on me. Oh my gosh. What was that, bro? Oh my gosh, no. Literally, I'm ending your your life now. Oh god, oh god. Oh, oh, that was terrifying. Nobody saw that, right? Okay. I don't think they get mad at me if I... Oh god, I hear another one. Get me out of here. This place is awful. Awful place to be. Oh my gosh. I love scaring you, Drift. It's the older sibling in me. How did I know you were an older sibling? You know what? That makes so much sense now. So much sense. So much sense. <laughs> it's the younger si sibling in me to get scared. I could, I could, uh, clipped your creeper fake out from the other day. Oh my gosh, yes. Lauren, the, uh, the Frodo clip got me. That was so funny. <laughs> Think about what you're doing. Okay, my tolerance for this place, I'm like, I'm almost over it, you know? Where is my portal? Okay, it's over there. I'm making like all these cool little like bridges though. I kind of like this. How did he drop down on me though? What was that? That was so rude. I hate this place. Okay, I think I've had enough. Whoa. Oh my God, they're like on the trees. That's why. Like, what the heck, man? Where's he? Is, isn't there one right here? <clears throat> there he is. Oh, it's a little baby. Oh God. Ah! Oh God. Oh, get out of here. You little rat. I think he's, where'd he go? Oh, he's, okay, he's running away. I'm out of here. I'm out of here, bro. I'm out of here. Retreat, retreat, exactly, retreat. Oh, you have a nice texture pack with the grass being fully green. I think it's vanilla tweaks. Oh wait, no, it might be connected textures. That's what it's called. It's a mod called connected textures. Oh yeah, the warped mushroom. I forgot about that. The worst is waking up at 3 a.m. to find out you left the window open and all the outside snow is inside. Oh my gosh, there is no cold like that. I That is like the coldest feeling in the world. I know exactly that feeling because I've definitely done that before. <laughs> it is brutal. Yeah, winter, I don't remember. I think ours was pretty mild last year. Had to compose myself enough to clip the Frodo one. Oh, it was so good, Lauren. All right, we've got 26 shroom lights. I feel like that's pretty good. It's not that good, but we can make do with it, you know? We can make do. Get these boots off of me. Ugh. Hello? Oh, hi. Huh. Okay, I need some moss, like mossy carpet. Are those blocks green or brown? It's uh, it's then the, then what color is the dress? Oh my gosh, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, what color are these? <laughs> Dead, that's so funny. No, they're green, no, they're brown. I think, okay, that dress thing, I understand how like the lighting affects it. Like I understand the science behind it, but it's very rare for me to see that dress as anything but, uh, what was it? What's, what do I see? Oh yeah, the white. I see it as white. I don't see it as like blue. I have only like once and I understand that like I do get the science and how like, if you do stare at it under different lighting, I think it also affects it. Yeah, connected textures is great. I also love it for glass. It makes such a difference, honestly. 
Okay, I need some moss, like moss carpet. That's what I need. How much longer are you streaming? I think we're gonna go on for like a little bit longer. Not not too much though, not too much. Just wanna get a couple more of these uh, shroom lights in and then we're pretty much good. Last winter was pretty cozy, but borderline freezing. Yeah, I feel that. I don't know why, I just got a sense that this winter is gonna be a doozy. The dress was blue. No, it was definitely white. I can, I, I saw it more often as white than I did blue. You know? I don't know. I don't know, chat. I just don't know about that one. World is so beautiful, such a big fan of your work. Oh, thank you so much, I appreciate it. So glad you're enjoying how this world is turning out. I am very, very happy with it. Snowgrass? I don't know what snowgrass is. Like, is it like actually like, like in game? Almost over, yeah. We're gonna be wrapping up soon. Snowgrass isn't rare, wait, in game, huh? You just got home on oh, moon. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're gonna um, wrap up soon. I've got a couple more chores to do today. Me and Big Tiny Duck do. We want to get our house kind of settled tonight because uh, she goes back to work tomorrow. So I think we're just gonna actually no, I don't want to break this one. Whoops, my bad. So I got a vacuum and stuff in a bit. Then we are gonna just watch some scary movie tonight, make dinner, which is gonna be our leftover extravaganza. We're gonna be doing lots and lots of leftovers tonight and I'm kind of here for it, you know? Kind of digging it. Hope that the new update will update the end. I'm, okay, yeah, what do you all think like the overarching theme of the update is gonna be? Cause like, I don't think that personally, I don't, really see how any of the mobs have given any indication of what the update's gonna be. I I don't know. I would love an end update though. I think that area needs some big love for sure. I'd be happy with like an end update. Some, I would be so happy with like biome updates. The only reason I'm kind of con like thinking that they might be doing some sort of biome update is because of the whole villager thing. I'm wondering if they're gonna be revamping stuff. The dress was magenta. Okay, well, that's one I haven't heard yet. Oh, was it Was it actually, like, the dress itself actually was blue and black. So, like, what I was seeing was actually, like, the light kind of messing with it. I've seen Snowgrass while I've used the debug stick, but never seen it on its own uncovered yet. I don't think I've ever seen it at all, TBH. What's for dessert tonight? You know what? We have a little box of Halloween candy. So probably a little bit of chocolate. We got like the Kit Kats, the arrows, the coffee crisp, you know? I think that's the vibe. You're eager for an end update. That dimension needs an all expense makeover. Not for real, agree. I would love an end update of some sorts. Especially because, like, I don't know, I think the cities are such a cool concept. Like, I love the idea of the floating ship and all of that stuff, but it just looks so desolate around it, you know? I feel as though it needs, like, it needs an overhaul to, like, really make it look, give it, like, that magical feeling that it should have. Scary movies are in session. Exactly, exactly. We started the other night and it's been so fun. I wanna watch a really scary movie tonight. I think that's the vibe. We started off like nice and easy. We watched Barbarian, we watched The Village last night and I think tonight I wanna watch something really scary. You should really watch the movie June, a bit of horror and action, but overall great. Okay, I will have to look into that. I'll have to look into June. We are always looking for like new ones to add because we do a lot of rewatches of our favorites but we always want to watch like have some new ones to like throw into the mix too 
You think Minecraft updates are small? I think like they like the fact that they're every year, I think like they're huge. Like the last one that um, they did felt substantial to me. You know what I mean? It felt like really big, like adding a new biome. We got camels. What else did we get? We got like the new wood type archaeology. It felt like there was actually quite a bit of stuff like crammed into the last update. Love the futuristic background, the music you got going on. What's the name of it? This one is called Alienated by ELFL. I think the dress itself was blue and black, but there was a massive amount of glare when the person took the photo. It looked like white and gold. There was no context from the surroundings. Yeah, see that? That makes sense. I think it was just like an overexposed photo. And then like if you change, I think if you change like the balance on it, um, you can actually see see how it's supposed to be. It's so funny. Uh, dirt. Where did I put dirt here again? Ah, there we go. Sorry, I'm looking for where did my moss go? I don't even know. Don't even know, man. Don't ask me, dude. Nether. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many diamonds we got? Eight. Eight and a few. You know what? I'm gonna go do a little bit of casual strip mining. We got all of our stuff put up. That's what I needed to do. And we'll cap this all off with just, just a wee little bit of strip mining. You know? Just a bit. Just for a second. Get some stuff for torches and we are good to go. Blair Witch. Okay, I love Blair Witch Project. I absolutely adore that movie. A lot of people kind of give it flack, but I think it's terrifying. It is one of the scariest movies. And also, it was like one of the first of its kind. I need to fix this. I need to make this into a bubble elevator. Am I going to fall to my death? I actually don't know. That made me sick to my stomach falling down there. It literally did. I felt ill. <laughs> you know what? I need this gold. We'll do that. Nice. Love your videos. What kind of PC do you have? I really want to get one since I always play on my Switch, Switch and I want to play with mods. So I have one that I custom built a long time ago and have kind of like put together over the years and like swapped out stuff. But I would say like anything, Minecraft can surprisingly run <laughs> on like uh, like smaller graphics cards. Like you don't necessarily need like a, like a beefy 3080 or something. I would honestly, as much as I would love to give advice, I'd never want to give like wrong advice. I would definitely go on like um like even ask around chat or like go on like a forum and just say what you want to use it for like specifically modding with minecraft and people could give you some good advice i would say that minecraft though runs surprisingly well on like um pcs that aren't like necessarily like the beefiest you know what i mean like there might be sometimes where modding could have a couple issues, but like even when I had my older graphics card, it did pretty well. And I'm still on like a Ryzen 5, I think for my CPU. And it, it still it still holds up pretty well for sure. I think the one thing I might need to upgrade though eventually is my memory, but. Terrified is not good, not Terrifier, but Terrified. It's sc crazy scary too. Okay, I'll have to add that one to my list as well. Hopefully a lot of the stuff is available on like Prime and uh, Netflix and stuff. The end is lacking, but what if it's supposed to be desolate? Like I, I think the end is supposed to feel desolate in a sense, but like I feel like you could have it feel desolate with like a little bit more like different types of blocks and maybe like plants and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I like the fact that you have to travel very far to find, like, ancient city stuff. But I feel like along the way, there's got to be some other... Like, it would be cool if there were, like, some other little points of interest and stuff. Or maybe ruins, you know? I need to get organized. Yeah, I do. I need to... This, this area is kind of starting to fall into the... Needs organization, for sure. Our, um, our storage house does need some love. Storage barn is definitely one of the things that we got to build for sure. Life is a good movie too. I don't think I've seen Life either. 
There's a Blair Witch game? Yeah, I saw that. Is it- is it a good game? Is it a good game? Also, Wayward, welcome on in. How you doing? Hope you're having a good one. Next chill base maintenance, drift builds auto item store storage room. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I could build another one of those for a while. We did that in my um in our stream world, and it took a heckin' long time. It it was worth it, but definitely took a long time. I think if I build a storage barn though, I think what I've learned is weirdly enough, I don't really do so well with having like item frames telling me what's in my bins. I actually prefer signs now. Which I never thought I'd say. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory is the scariest movie ever. Listen, you're kind of like not wrong about that. That movie's like, that movie is scary vibes. Like the classic one. I used to watch it a lot as a kid and I loved it, but it would freak me out. <laughs> Upgrade my memory legit, but also my brain. Am I right? Yeah, same. I think I need to do a memory upgrade to my brain as well. Yeah, desolate with more pizzazz is what the end needs. Absolutely, Taco. Watch some scary TV shows. Yellow Jackets or Haunting of Hill House. Yo, Haunting of Hill House scared the crap out of me. Like, literally, actually really scared me. Gotta agree with that one. Um, Yellow Jackets, I enjoyed the first season. Second season kind of lost me. Kind of lost me a little bit. I, I don't know. I can't describe it. It just like got like a little bit too like, what are we doing here? But I really, really liked the first season. Gotta watch Ter- Okay, is Terrifier that like really scary movie? I know Johnny said Terrified, but I have heard of something called Terrifier before and I heard it's like really disturbing and very gory and I don't know if I can handle that anymore. I used to not mind that stuff when I was like younger and now I'm like, I don't know, like Saw movies and stuff. I'm like, no thanks. Too scared. Blair Witch game scared me and I haven't touched it since. Okay, I feel like I've got to try it then. I love hate scary games to be honest. <laughs> Watch Pixar's Coco, because the ending made me cry. Yeah, Pixar's Coco is one of those movies where I'm like, wow, what a masterpiece. But also, I don't know if I'm going to be watching this for a long time, because I felt the same way. I was like, this is too sad. Doing well, just checking this uh, CIT pack on Bedrock to make sure it doesn't turn my stuff into glitchcraft. Yeah, we all hate a glitchcraft moment, don't we? We had a something on castaways created like a mega glitch one day we had to like remove something and then removing it caused a little bit of an issue if you still had it in the pack it was so funny it like turned like trees into like granite stairs and stuff it was the most bizarre thing i've ever seen it was so funny signs are better because sometimes there isn't a good item to put in an item frame to show what's in the chest yes i agree instead like <clears throat> You can say like, oh, like outdoor stuff. You know what I mean? Like you could be a little bit more specific. I do prefer the signs now. I did it in Castaways and I was like, you know what? I kind of dig this. Kind of dig this. I've memorized the part, um, the part Wonka is saying when they're traveling down the Chocolate River in uh, the boat in the original movie. Oh my gosh, yes. That part is, I think that's probably one of the scariest parts in that movie. Oh God, I just lost everything there. Whatever, it's just redstone. That part scares me so much. With like all of the weird visuals and stuff that are happening, I remember as a kid, I was like, what is going on? Terrified makes Texas Chainsaw Massacre look like a Disney movie. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna watch it then. I don't know if I can handle this chat. I'm a little bit of a baby now. Just a little bit. It's a wee bit of a baby. Mm. Oops. Let's put all this good stuff up here for now. Nice. Gory seems like a cheap way to creep people out and scare them. Yeah, you know what? Like, I like... I... 
I can appreciate the gore genre. Cause like, I don't know, like, especially if it's done with like practical effects, I'm like, okay, like you had to like put work into making that look realistic. Like that's wild. Like some artists basically made that, but like, yeah, I, I can't really, I just like look away now. I can't look at it. It like grosses me out too much. <laughs> it's just like not my thing anymore. I discovered a song recently called Red Flags about a guy who goes on a date. Um, and it transpires the woman's favorite movie is Human Centipede, so now I need to see that movie. Azzy, have you not seen Human Centipede? <laughs> that movie's like really disturbing. That's another one where I'm like, no, thank you. I don't think I'll watch this ever again. Terrifier is the clown. Terrified is by Argentinian director. Really scary. His new movie comes out on the 27th. It's in theaters now. Okay, I'm going to look this up. Terrified. Yes, in Terrifier is the movie that yeah i remember somebody showed me a clip from it and i was like i don't think i'll be watching this okay perfect i added that one to my list johnny thank you for that wreck watch stitch okay stitch i like how i just take all of these random random wrecks i love them Stitch the movie? Wait, Stitch the movie like Lilo and Stitch? That's what came up first. <laughs> Real Stitch the movie? Disney classic? Terrifying though. Terrifying. How did you crash a chicken? How did you crash a server because of a chicken farm? What was this chicken farm made of, Moon? <laughs> What happened? Was it just like way too many chickens or something? Mother is one of my favorite scary movies. I don't think I've seen that one ever, like either. There's a lot that I'm missing out on. Lots that I'm missing out on. The one um, that was in theaters recently talked to me was terrifying. Really scary movie. Yeah, Lauren, honestly, I I almost like noped. I usually don't want nope out of watching movies, but like that one midway through I considered turning off. I was like, this is too much for me. That one definitely was one where I was like, I don't know if I can take much more of this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Mother's anxiety inducing until it's over and then you're like, what? Oh, I love movies like that. Like kind of like thriller. Yeah, it's a no for you all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agreed, agreed. Honestly, I like speaking from seeing it, I would just I would just pass on watching it. I don't think it really does much, to be honest. I'm just like, it's it's a movie that like sparked off sparked up a ton of conversation, but like honestly, you could you could skip it. You could skip it. Slenderman 2018. Oh my god, I used to play the Slenderman game. That move or that game scared me so much. Evil Dead Rise, I have that on my list. I do want to see that one. Talk to me is supposed to be a scary, scary movie. Johnny, that movie disturbed me. I want to watch it again, but I'm actually like kind of scared too. Nightmare on Elm Street is another one that like really gets me. It's one of those movies where I'm like, I almost just want to watch this midday because like the whole thing is about like, it's like based on dreams and stuff. And I'm like, well, now I have to go to bed after I watch this. And what if Freddy is there, you know, like, like why, <laughs> like why I don't want to watch that, <laughs> but I love that movie. It's such a good one. It's a classic. You might watch talk to me this weekend. Yeah, it's a good one. If you like scary supernatural movies, like, just be warned, it is very scary. I don't know why, it like really got me. It's really well made. Apparently two YouTubers made it as well. Like they basically, I think it's an A24 movie, but I'm pretty sure YouTubers produced it, I think. I also love how horror movies are just one word like Muppet, colorful, silent. No, it's so true, that is so true, that's so funny. What an observation, you're so right. Smile was good too. Watch it uh, with my best friend and she was like squeezing my hand so hard. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Smile, I think I've seen the poster for and I'm like, this looks sinister. Lauren, thank you so much for the 10. Oh my gosh, thank you so, so much, chat. Chat, you know what to do. You know what to do. 
big, big, big swags in chat for Lauren. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Sorry, I skipped every hat. Just didn't want to miss anything. Oh my gosh, no worries, Lauren. Lauren, do what you gotta do. That. Thank you so much again for the 10. I really, really appreciate that. Chat, big, big swags. Evil Dead Rise was so good I watched it twice. Okay, I need to add that to my list then. Definitely need to add a bunch of these to my list. We usually go with the classics. Um, One movie that really scared me was Candyman, like the original one. We watched that one last year, I think, and I was like, this one was like, this one was wild. It really disturbed me. It was very, very good though. Oh, I can see the caves as I'm running. Also, chat, if you haven't and you want to give the stream a like, really, really appreciate it. It helps so much with the reach on YouTube. Really appreciate it. Throw down that like. Smash like button. You know what to do. Okay, which way? I don't think I need to go that much further down there. Let's keep going this way. We got a couple diamonds so far. Me and my spouse watched Benny Loves You yesterday. It was wild about a toy designer who throws away his first comfort toy and it comes alive and murders folks. Is this a new film? Benny Loves You. 2019. I have not heard of this. That sounds actually hilarious. Oh my gosh, I need to watch that. I need to watch that. I have not heard of that. See, I like movies that are like fun, like scary, but also self-aware. You know what surprised me last year was the movie Megan. It, Cause I like, I had seen the um, clip where she sang Titanium and I was like, this is wild. Like, I can't believe it. This movie's gonna be like bad, but like, we ended up really liking it because it was very, very self-aware. Like it knew it was silly, but it was also very creepy. So I highly recommend that movie. I, if, if you go into it knowing that like, they're kind of like making fun of like tropes and stuff, you're, you're gonna like it. You're definitely gonna like it. <clears throat> you loved Candyman? Yo, Candyman is so good. I, I think I wanna rewatch that one this year. Yeah, top of the hour, stretch, grab a snack if you all need to. We'll probably be ending uh, soon-ish, but we got we got a couple more minutes still, chat. We got a couple more minutes. Animal Comes Home uh, is also pretty scary. I saw the trailer in theaters with my friend and brother, and they were both scared, <laughs> but I didn't react. Yeah, Annabelle movies are scary, too. I find anything that has to do with The Conjuring very, very scary. I want to go see the new Nun movie. The Nun, there's also a new Exorcist, I believe, right? I think so. And there is one more in theaters. I'm not sure what it is, though. There's a lot of scary movies coming out, though. I'm very excited about. Megan was so crazy. I can't wait to see the uncut version. There's an uncut version? Yo, I need to see this. Need to see this. Definitely need to watch Bad uh, Milo. It's not that scary, but very silly, creepy, and fun. Oh my gosh, so many good recommendations. I need to like, should we set up like a horror movie section in the Discord? I keep saying we should do this because we had The Last of Us, which was spoilers, spoiler zone. Maybe we should set up a spooky movie like section that we can all like chat about movies and give recommendations. Cause I think we talked about that. Maybe I'll do that after stream. We'll just replace The Last of Us with that one. Cause there's so many things, like so many good recommendations to have. And I, I like having lists of things that we can watch. Popping to say Stranger Things season four scared me so badly. I won't be watching any of these films. Was season four like the Vecna one? Cause he kind of terrified me. Kind of terrif terrified me. Ready or Not is a really good horror movie. Funny, self-aware, but still leaves you on the edge of your seat. I think I've heard of Ready or Not. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I 
I've seen the poster for this. That's not one that I've watched yet, though. Okay, we need to get, like, a section in the Discord. Stat. Stat. New Exorcist is gonna be so good. Trying to get my mom to go. Yeah, I have faith in that one. I've heard a lot of hype around it, so I have faith that it's actually gonna be good. I really do have faith. I love how we're all here for the scary movies. So good. Might, um, get some of these ones tonight. We were gonna watch probably a classic that we'd seen before, but you all have given so many good recommendations. We might have to try some of these out. I'm feeling like kind of like ghost story supernatural for tonight, you know? We did the village last night, which was like kind of like, ooh, like thriller. We did Barbarian the other night, which was also thriller, I would say. And a little bit of gore. That one's a little bit gory in some ways. So I think we gotta go supernatural tonight. Yeah, The Exorcist is very scary. Also, Poltergeist very much scared me as well. I don't, like, that's one movie where I actually don't, as much as I love it and I appreciate it, I don't know if I wanna rewatch it, to be honest. My least favorite thing about horror movies is how they constantly show animal death and like killing the family pets. Yeah, that's like a really big trope in those movies for sure. I, th those ones always get me too. Antlers. Why do I feel like that's about like some scary woods or something? Another one that I like kind of hate rewatching is Paranormal Activity. That movie has always frightened me a little bit too much. Horror movies are too much for you. Totally get it. Totally get it. I have a couple friends who don't like watching them either, and I totally understand why. I don't know why. There's something about me where I'm like, yeah, scare me, and then I can't go to bed, and I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> but I still do it anyway. <laughs> Hereditary is a great one. That's another one that's like very hard to watch. Like, there's something about the vibe of that one that's very, very much like too, almost too much. But I think I watch it every year anyway. You loved Poltergeist, Azzy? Yeah, it's it's such a good one, but it's so scary. So the twist with Animal Crossing's person in Castaways was so funny and interesting. What a great way to get um to get ice for sparkle. Can't wait for more. Oh my gosh, so happy you loved that uh that collab. Um Ali was so excited to do it. And honestly, like when we were talking, when we asked her to do it. We were talking about like just ideas and she was like, oh, like what if I talk about Animal Crossing? We were like, oh my God, like that is such a smart idea. Such a smart idea. Like it, it was just so good. It flowed together so, so well. Big GG's for Ali. If you, um, actually let me link Ali's uh, Twitch in chat. Hold on a second, Ali. Huh? Here we go. Um, please go give Ali a follow on Twitch. Such an incredible content creator. Such a cozy space on Twitch. She does um a lot of Animal Crossing content where she like builds up like themed islands and stuff. I could never do that because I'm so bad at that game. So definitely go drop a follow if you are on Twitch. Such an incredible human good friend and amazing she did she did such a good job with that collab we were like like ali thank you it was so so good all right chat should we uh i feel like we should probably call it i gotta go start uh cleaning up the house a little bit i feel like we uh did quite a bit today let's get out of here first let's grab our little diamonds i have to remember that all of this other stuff is here though i will grab the i the iron i'm gonna do a slow climb up here you can't do horror, Lauren. Even the haunted houses are terrifying. I ended up in a ball on the ground with two chainsaws and flamethrowers over me. Okay, a flamethrower is a lot. I'm not gonna lie, I... Okay, well, we went to Halloween Haunt last weekend. It's at Wonderland. They basically make like a bunch of like scary mazes to go through. It's not as scary as it used to be, but once somebody did chase me with a chainsaw and I did maybe pee my pants a bit, it was really scary. <laughs> But this year it wasn't it wasn't really scary this year, surprisingly. 
and I'm I'm the type of person to get very scared. So we went on rides and stuff, and that was more scary, I would say. You should make the uh, bubble elevator. Honestly, we have to. Next stream, we will. We definitely will next stream, for sure. Is it nighttime? It's always nighttime. Why is that? Why is it always nighttime? You know? We got very minimal diamonds out of this, but hey, that's all right. You had a guy chase you as well, Johnny. You stopped and turned around and screamed at him to stop, told him I wasn't amused. Did he stop? Cause like some, like the guy like literally like chased me off the path. I was like, okay, this is just too much now. Like I'm fearing for my life. Is there a link to the Discord server? Uh, let's try Discord. It should... I don't know if it's up and running right now. Oh, it is. It is. That should work. All right, everybody. We did lots and lots of stuff today. I am so, so happy we got this stream in. I had such a wonderful time with you all. Uh, let's go over to our little farmland area. We did lots of pathing, all of that stuff. I had a blast as always. We're always just chilling here, aren't we? We're always just vibing. Always just vibing. Also, everybody, thank you so much again today. Um, thank you for the super chats, all of that. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you so much for hanging with me. I had such a wonderful day today. So, so much fun. Um, we will be back here next week. I think this week is going to be, I'm going to be trying to get a long play done, but with commentary. I'm going to try that out see how you all like that so keep an eye out for a long play with commentary might do something fall themed as well uh or if not it's going to be in our cozy long play world but either way that's probably the plan for content this week and then next week when we come back to stream here on monday um i don't know yet oh no you know what we'll be back here on friday though don't forget i'm gonna make a post in the community tab on youtube uh, we have a very special charity stream that we're going to be doing with frog crafting. So we're going to be doing something for gamers outreach. It's going to be very cozy fall themed as well. So lots of fall stuff. Uh, it's going to be an early stream 8 a.m. Eastern time. So mark that down. We're going to have lots and lots of really fun like donation goals and incentives and stuff. Uh, if you like honestly also no pressure at all to like donate and stuff. Just having your support and having you like hum hang out for that is more than enough like we really appreciate that so keep keep an eye out for friday 8 a.m eastern we'll be back and we're gonna be doing lots and lots of fun stuff that day all right bye everybody thank you so much i had so much fun goodbye bye